God. God. Yeah, right. God, hello. God. Hello. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. Guys, surprise. Oh Soko is here after all. Pog. Soko lied to us all. He's a he liar, man. Liar. <laughs> He took a day off so I can punch Jax in the face some more. Yeah. I, well, I, I didn't take the half second. That poor yeah, old man. I scammed work, but that's fine. I don't need to talk about it here. That's fine. That's fine. Pog. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Uh, Welcome to Dungeon Select. Holiday. Vincent's here again. Hi, Vincent. Hey, man. Hello. Uh, he was supposed. This was supposed to be the first time seeing him on the channel, but then uh, Sogo had to cancel on the Halloween one shot, so Vincent was there yeah. as well. So, but Vincent's back. Now it's back. just the first time seeing him on the channel with a shirt on. Exactly. True. Exactly. <laughs> so, gang's all here, and I'm very happy to have you here, Sogo. It's uh, feels feels it's good, good to be man. back. Feels dude. good. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost a month. So uh, before we get into everything, some announcements. Obviously, it is November. We are still raising money for special effects through the Level Select community, exclamation mark charity to get a donation link and all that good stuff. Uh, we won't have the alerts and the fancy overlay and stuff because that just won't work for the way our D&D game looks. But um, you can still donate. And uh, if uh, people do donate, uh, I'll have the... Um, the the charity page open so that we can maybe do some yeah. shout outs and stuff uh like before before after before the break, the break. Yeah. um let me open that right now actually just so that i have it um ready um, i have it open as well beautiful what's the what's the tally right now 1051 not bad not bad look at that Ooh, a thousand in the first week we are officially Gamers. better than sea of thieves we are officially better <laughs> than sea of thieves actually that's really really cool yeah um, so, another announcement is that this Wednesday there will be a one-shot uh, here on the channel um, with Laura and some guest players. Um, the way that one-shot is going to work is that uh, people that donate to the charity have the ability to give players advantage on rolls, give players DM inspiration, oh uh, give enemies disadvantage on attack rolls, or whatever the fuck. Um, we're going to be playing a one-shot called The Return of the Necromancer. It's a little dungeon crawly, get into a necromancer's lair and kill him kind of thing. Should be fun. Um, so that will be here on Wednesday. Um, no divinity tomorrow because I am visiting the family for a couple of days. So, sorry. Um, lastly, thanks for the subs, by the way, guys. Killing it. Eva, thanks for the follow. How's it going, homie? Um, we have something now... If you do exclamation mark Discord, we made a Dungeon Woo! Select Discord for you all to join. If you're looking for a place to, I don't know, watch Dungeon Select together or or watch other D&D stuff together. Looking for people to play or set up games with. Uh, talk D&D, talk Dungeon Select. Any any d d related thing can be discussed there. Um, join the Discord, guys. Smile. Uh, that'd be great. You would appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, growing the community there a little bit as well. Make that like a like a central hub for all the D and D uh, shenanigans. Uh, I think I'm out of announcements. Anyone else have anything that they want to share yes. with class? Um, for this is a thing that's going to be happening on my channel for the rest of the month. But tomorrow's the first day it's happening, so it's going to be the most exciting. Cool. One of my incentives for the charity select campaign, if we hit 500, was surprise <clears throat> alerts being recorded for my channel oh, by true. various members of Level Select, friends, some people in Dungeon Select have made surprise alerts for me, and I have no idea what they are. And James uploaded them all to my Streamlabs this morning. So once we hit the going live button on Monday, I have no idea what any of my alerts sound like. Mine is and very it's going to be a fun time. Well, that's good. I said I figured they're either going to be trolly, or they're going to try and jump scare me, or they're going to be making fun of me. And I'm okay with all any of the above. For charity. So, yeah, exactly. I don't think my kids into have... any of those. It should be fun though. Or or, <laughs> well, or Duke just made a legitimately awesome one because he's like, I have a fancy new mic. Let's let's do some cool shit. Oh, it's it, it really doesn't have anything to do with the mic, but I put some oh. time in. Yeah, Duke's got a new excited. mic. And he looks professional yeah. as fuck. Can we talk about that for a second? What is that to say? I don't know. Wanted to hype you up a little bit, you know. Thanks, man. <laughs> I got a new mic. I got a preamp. My and boy. chair. And, and chair. a new chair. Dude. I Dude, honestly I like, like. I feel like the chair elevates the setup more. Well, I it don't looks know. Comfy. It's just like it, it. My old chair was like red and black. What and chair is it? This is a Corsair T3 Rush. Is it worth I it? To look is it worth the money? It was worth the money. <laughs> Dude, got the new Blue Yeti mic. Grass. I got the new right Blue Yeti here. Nano, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Yay. Dude, I feel weird being the only one that has a hanging mic now. 
Because like everyone else has yeah. like one that comes from you know. You might, 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 might I do want to get a new Try mic on. Change it. <laughs> a little fun, little fun story, I guess, before we uh, before we get started. I was I was looking for a mic on, and uh, the H3 podcast had these. I remember in 2018 they had these. They had the same microphone, and they had these really fancy mic ons. And I was like, I wonder what that was. And I went back and I looked at the podcast and I looked it up. The mic ons that they use are four hundred dollars. Jesus, oh that is. Word. That's Almost like as much as, as the mic. That's yeah. Fucking nuts. What the hell? Um, so I'm probably gonna pass on that. But uh, yeah, uh, that that was a nice little surprise. I think I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get a new mic on. I think, but I'm not sure what. Okay. The road, maybe. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Anyone else have anything they want to say before we get going with tonight's D and D sesh? I love Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm glad everyone's here, and I'm excited for this session. I love you, Dutch, oh, yeah. and you know you really shouldn't kill my character. But I don't think I have any any say in that, Soko. I'm just stop a man. Like I'm, I'm going back to all your character deaths. The only one that I could, I guess I could partially take responsibility for was wrong. We, yeah. Ash no, had to go. No, 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 no. Shut up, Laura. Not Shut true. Up. It's his fault. Not true it's at all. <laughs> Oh wait, no! Didn't the wrong do something the dumb and like fly off, up? The, yeah, the stupid idiot. Up in Actually, the air no, with I think one I'm back. HP after already being <laughs> I didn't have one HP. <laughs> I had like twelve because like, oh, I took a potion. Right. Either way, you, you, you flew up into the air with low health, where you know you could hit me up there for five foot falling, and then you'd already been downed. And then, so no, 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 no. Yeah, Don't blame no, yourself yeah, for fair. That. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate that. Thanks for refreshing my memory. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm right. never gonna live it down. Oh, and Ethan is a bit sicky wicky, so he might be a little quiet this session. But uh, that's no one complaining about that, right? All right, guys. <laughs> Everyone is <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> I Mr. hate Brooks you all. Getting hung over his shit. That's all. Love you, Ethan. Do not make me take the noise suppression off because I sound Do like it. the fucking penguin from Toy Story. <laughs> that's even better. God. All right. So new character. Last we left <laughs> off, the party came back to Eldilon and uh, took some time to relax, had some drinks, a little party. And then um, Elazarin and Sirin went around the city uh, towards the temple district uh, to get her uh, set up with, with learning about religion and, and the city life and the life of the life of the settlers of this new continent, really, uh, to try and set up some collaboration with her people back in the jungle, uh, see if they could set something along those lines up. Uh, Father Ackle then approached you, Elazarin, and told you about some strange noises being being heard from the crypts. Uh, you let the rest of the party know, and you delved in there to find that a necromancer had raised a bunch of corpses uh, and defiled an altar uh, with all kinds of sick, uh, symbols surrounding Vecna, a lich trying to ascend to godhood, uh, and a pretty popular being for necromancers to go to and... and Rever as somewhat of a deity already. Um, you dealt with the threats, killed the necromancer, and uh, cleaned up the altar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, got paid for it. And then, around the evening time, when you all kind of gathered outside of the cathedral after a job well done, read a message in the sky, written in fire, inviting you to come deal with what you assume to be is lord fearkrog in person after he's gotten word that you've gotten some of his men and women arrested and he's not too happy with um after which davian for a second saw something that could have resembled some something somewhat dragon-like um with that you're on the front of the cathedral um what do you do i pet onu oh because he's a dog Oh, he is a dog. True. Oh, yeah. He's a dog right now. <laughs> he is a dog right now. Why are you nice to him oh, when he's he a dog? But when he's a bird, you bully him. <laughs> Fuck he he fucking kicked ass. He did kick ass. Yeah. Onu did kick ass. He, so, so your praise is not based on his effort, but his results. Yeah. That's not <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's not healthy parenting. You didn't say it. Not what? his dad. I'm his employer. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Um, <clears throat> as his message is up in the sky and slowly starting to fade away, you can see that the other citizens that you can kind of see gathered around the cathedral districts are all looking up and 
um, it's somewhat in shock and, and not sure what's going on, but they kind of, like, have, like, the attitude of, oh, it's not for me, and they just kind of move on with their day, uh, with their evening, rather. Father Ackle comes outside and looks up. Oh, um, is that for you? I kind of look at Taffy and I'm... Um, if it's what I believe it is, I think it nah. might have a little... I think there's a small chance it might have to do with us, though I don't can't be 100% sure. Um, I, I believe it might um, be. General Kron has been working with the uh, Kalza's adventurers on a bit of an investigation. Um, you should probably seek her out if you want to deal with this. You know, want to accept this invitation, I suppose. What I'm if sure we she'll have seen it by now. What if, what if we didn't? Just we'll always just leave. I'm not opposed to it. Well, I, I mean, mean... Our travels do find us towards... Where was it? That the fucking message Street said? Street Street them. I mean, our travels do find us towards Streatham anyways. I they suppose. do. I've got to be a bit... Be a bit. Well... I suppose we um, could maybe try and get paid for going there as well. In, in the nicest way possible. Use those travels. Take you that way. If this is going to get us all fucking killed, we might as well just go for a wander after the pub and um, leave you to it. I'm going to sign to Kess. I mean, you, me, and Davian dealt with four of those cultists pretty easily. How bad can the rest of them be? I will repeat that. And not to mention that Elazarin and myself also got three of them. Arrested fairly easily. I don't think we'll have too much trouble. Although, I mean, uh, Brooks, you make a point. Kess has some sort of investment in finding the tears of Kossuth, and um, do I? I feel like maybe. Well, I guess kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought uh, you know, I thought there was some sort of mentorship, but you know, that, that's fair enough. And I was just about to say, well, Dagon will probably follow along with Kess, and I'll look at Dagon. Sort of questioningly, but uncertain. Uh, but I'm sure once we've spoken to Kron, and I'm sure some mention of a reward will come up, maybe yourself and Jax will have a little bit more motivation. I just had a thought, though. We've dealt with these cultists, and um, we've learned a little bit about Fearcrog, especially myself and Elazarin. And uh, his penchant for fire and uh, destruction and now his location in street home uh, I have a feeling that perhaps him and these tears of Kosuf might be intertwined somehow oh then we have to go well there you have it oh, I, as much as I would love that to be true <clears throat> And it probably is. It'd be so good if it just wasn't. <laughs> just it would. It, it would be. Else. It, it oh. is. It would be. It, it, it was. It would just be. Convenient if they are. Yeah. It, 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 it would. It would be lovely if they were. This way. It would be lovely if they were, but the universe isn't quite as kind. And it's besides, I mean, a little reductive, but very on brand. People obsessed uh, with burning things want the thing that burns things. Indeed. Right. Should we head our way to General Quan? <laughs> reductive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, it hasn't really, you know, benefited me at all besides burning you lot. So maybe, it, you know, won't be too scary. But I, fingers crossed he does have it and it doesn't do anything for him. And we kill him and we take it and then we're easy. No, I mean, only need one more. Or he's unlocked some sort of magic potential and we all fucking I mean, die. We, tried to, we tried to arrest him and, you know, take him to the local Thor. That's not going to happen, is it? We're going to kill this man. <laughs> you can certainly try. Apprehend him. Yeah. So we'll just say stop him. You know, whatever means appear to be necessary. But let's face it. I mean, we're probably going to kill him. Especially those... murder. Not, not. We will all. deliver him I'm to the guards. Not going unharmed. And if we have to deliver him in multiple packages, that's fine as well. Hmm. Yep. You see, like it's it's that like thousand yard stare from Lazarus. He's just realised I... this group he's with is very much like, <laughs> 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 this <is> justice. <laughs> I'm also gonna hold up that orange potion I got from one of, I believe it was from one of the cultists that we killed earlier and yeah. sign the Kess. If we could find more of these, that would also really help be a big advantage. Maybe we can buy some. 
Maybe. Did you sign oh, that? Oh, last time I went to a potion I shop, they... I mean, I... Potion, like, looks like that would be quite expensive. Yeah. Let's be honest. As I say that, I just kind of hold mine a bit closer. <laughs> Are we having this conversation as we walk? Yeah, we're walking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah, on our well, way to General Cron. So. I'm sure I could afford it. So you make your way to uh, the keep where you assume you can find her since... Uh, yeah. That message in Sky will probably have, have, yeah. have some caused some alarm for her as well. So you get to the keep, and as you enter, uh, there's a guard there, and it's... I'm assuming you're here for, um, and just kind of points the out the, like, the, the sky, uh, yes. fading. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Kron's already speaking to uh, Peter Riz and one of his uh, mercenaries in her office, if you want to just follow me. Mm. Sounds good. And he escorts you, and as you enter the office, you see uh, General Kron wearing her, her white and blue full plate. A kind of, kind of uh, hunched over, like kind of standing and like leaning on her knuckles on her desk. On the other side of the desk stands uh, Peter Riz, uh, the leader of the Kalzer's Adventurers, and um, Vincent. Hey. What do they see when they look at the individual that is accompanying Mr. Peter Riz? They see a very tall, lean, slender man. Light, uh, you see that, only see his face because he's wearing uh, leather with dark green patterns on it. Other armor of dark green patterns and his face has a light blue skin you see as well uh, white hair and when he moves his head around there's kind of like wisps of clouds left behind when he moves his head uh, bright green eyes and a big bushy beard as well and two scimitars sheathed to its side to the side Oops. Ooh. So you enter and General Kron looks at you. Right, um, saves me the effort of summoning you lot. Um, right, um, that writing in the sky, we all know what that's about, right? Yes. A party, I think. Sorry? No, it's just a joke, I'm sorry. A fire party. No, I just couldn't hear you, I got... Shit in my ears. Um, oh, just say uh, do, uh, it seems like an invite to a, a, a party. I should probably make clear because it was very fleeting, but I swear for a moment I caught a, a glance of what looked like a dragon. Eyes oh widen at that part. <laughs> right, well, uh, Mr. Riz has uh, uh, granted me the help of, of um, one of his uh, workers over here. He... Um, him and I, or him and the city guard, have been been working on an investigation regarding uh, the exact whereabouts of and and motivations of uh, Fear Krag uh, within Streatham. Um, I think he could be a pretty valuable asset for all of you uh, if he accompanies you. And she kind of looks over at uh, at your at your character, Vincent, and um, but um. Before you make your introductions, um, all we really have to go on is that we know now that Streatham seems to be where he's holding up. I think your first order of business, if you do decide to follow on, follow follow suit with this, is um, uh, Streatham is an industrial town. Factories, engineers, uh, a good bulk of our military equipment gets made there, actually. Um, I have a captain stationed there, male half-elf, goes by the name of uh, Rianes. She came out. He might have some answers as to where in town to start your search. Obviously, oh, I know bad. money is a great motivator for some of you, most of you, all of you, probably. You're all mercenaries, I guess. Um... The Blue Council has uh, decided that a 100 gold reward for each of you will be uh, awarded upon delivery of Mr. Fear Krag alive or dead. I don't care. I shoot a glance at a Lazarus. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, we prefer him alive, but if you can't, and you know, it's, he's he's ruined the lives of, of many 
uh, and if we don't stop him, then he's just going to continue ruining lives, and we, we, need, we need to put an end to that. What was the name of the person you said, Dutch? Sorry that he has Her captain? Rianes. Uh, Rianes, yeah. yeah. R-I-A-N-E-S. A male half-elf. Male half-elf. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, or, or, Mr. Is, I suppose uh, you can leave. Um, uh, thank you for, for your help. And Peter kind of like looks at you all. Looks like the uh, investigation is in good hands. So I'll uh, return to the guild hall. If you need me, you know where to find me. And he takes his leave, leaving you behind. Uh, I don't want to say your name yet. So I want you to introduce <laughs> yourself. But yeah, leaving the um, individual that was with him behind. Um, and Kron yeah. uh, kind of looks at you all. All right. So, how does it sound? Do you accept this bounty? Of course. I gotta look around. Look around. Apparently, <laughs> Davian doesn't. Davian walked out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Davian walked out. Davian's not too clean. Sorry, I, um... <laughs> sorry, I only needed a shit. <laughs> In my office? That's a bit. That's why I went out, you fucking. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Madam? <laughs> <laughs> I, um. Go up to our. our person we've just been introduced to and put my, I put my hand out and go the name is Lazarus, nice to meet you uh, hello, my name is Sai Hi. very nice to meet you all can you spell it? Sai, S just like the word S-I-G-H oh, oh. oh that's so funny <laughs> I was thinking S-A-I yeah same Sai <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just saying your name, we just make the sound effects. <laughs> exactly. Hey, who's that? Yeah, we're just like. Oh. <laughs> the audio version of this episode. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Podcasters enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure Hi, to meet you, Sai. I'm Davian. Very nice to meet you, too. This is Ognu, and I just saw a gesture to this tall. African wild dog that's mm. happily panting at my side. I will pet the dog. Damn right. We can trust him, guys. He pet the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's what someone who we'd want to trust would do. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be I shy, guys. Like, this, is, this is Kess. This is Bro Brooks isn't feeling himself today. The big one's Jax. As you can see, we're already saw we've got a couple blue and people already. And that, one is, right in. that one's Dagon. Right. They they don't talk. Dagon doesn't speak sheep. I talk for her. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I don't suppose you know any sign language. Mmm. I haven't learned that yet. Then mm. I talk for her. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um then what's your what's your skill set, as it were? You know, uh mm. are you a uh, up close fighter? Are you you know I mean he does have rage? scimitars. So. <clears throat> yes, I do quite enjoy fighting up close and usually quite larger creatures is my, uh, what I prefer. Oh. Yeah, okay. But I'm pretty good at uh, wandering the forests, lived alone for a lot of my life. Yeah. I'm like my type of guy. Hey, it's not like you got competition, Davion. Not in a romantic well, way. He wouldn't be your type of guy because you both would want to be alone. You can be alone mm. in the same place. That's deep, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I didn't come back for this. Holy shit. Yeah, well, Kron, um, I don't suppose you have any information about Fear Krog that, mm. well, you know, do knowing. Well, you should serve uh, Sai over here has um, done a bit of an investigation. Um, oh, really? The, uh, I, I think you, you used to be an investigator of some kind, right? Before you came to the continent. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. So he's been wondering... putting that skill set to use um, for us. Uh, we hired him as an investigator. Uh, uh, a few days after you brought in the first, uh, you know, first of his followers, uh, we, we decided to set up an investigation, hired him to help us because of his, uh, his background in leading investigations. Um, so if anything, I think, uh, Sai, if you want to just... Let them know what you 
we've gathered so far. All right. Um, so, obviously you know Jirden Fierkrag, the leader and there's fire being lit on farms around this area. Lots of fire that it have been his people. And he, um, it is, uh, we've rumored that he um, worships the dragon from the first era. And he is emulating what said dragon would do if it came back. Yeah, you all know, um, you know, basic basic history. Uh, actually, no. Anyone have it's a... just me and Lazarus really got that rundown, right? Uh, yeah, but like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just talking about like history of the world, as in like. Oh, okay. um, I probably. Oh, I think I am proficient. In I history. have. Uh, anyone I have am. a uh, like intelligence that is lower than ten? Lower than ten? Mm -hmm. Exactly ten. Okay. Mine's exactly um, 10 too. Uh, you all know that uh, back in oh. the first era, um, when the the prime material plane, this this realm you all live in, got created, um, dragons invaded from all the elemental planes to try and make this their domain, make this their home, uh, and a big war erupted between the dragons and the people that lived in this prime material plane and a lot of the deities that were shaping the land still. Uh, also stepped in and this this big war happened and the dragons lost and they were forced to retreat to the elemental planes um so that's what what sai is talking about like that that era that is about um all i've got for now well any information is better than none so we appreciate the hard work you've been doing you guys know if he has a small red gem in his possession. Maybe that's probably well, that's probably mm. too. Uh... I have not laid my eyes on him. Mm. You proficient well, in in um... is Sai proficient in history? Don't think so. Yeah, look. So have a check for me if you can. Nope. Nope. All right, carry on. Nope. Sag. <clears throat> Sag. Well then, how does it take to get to Streatham? I kind of looking at both Sai and General. Oh, it's um, about, about a three day journey, I think. Three days. Any Ooh. caravans going there anytime soon? Might be able to get a bit of extra scratch on the way. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, we we're expecting a shipment uh, of. of, of... Uh, armor, but that's that, that, that's arriving in a couple of days, and obviously that caravan would go back. But for, for that time, you might as well just you know go on your own accord. Uh, we could oh, swing so by the marketplace and ask around if anyone's on their way. I mean, our horses are still hitched up here, right? Like, yeah, we still have. Yeah, that's true. Counting horses, yeah. I, mean, I could see if I have a map. You could. Yeah, that yep. would help. Kaz and Dagon sold their souls for that cart, so we might as well make as much use of it as we can. <laughs> sold all our souls, we all went after that crown. <laughs> uh, I, I was making a joke, but you raise a valid point. Let's get our money's worth, so to speak. What time of day is it, roughly? Uh, it's like, it's, it's evening. Too fucking early. It's, e it's evening. <laughs> yeah, it's evening. Too early. <laughs> too so, early. We, can either, we can either travel in the nice little bit, or rest up and... You know, first thing in the morning. Uh, the smell of the morning spend... more. Oh, like... I bloody knew you to say that. If you wanted avoided. to spend another night with Siren, I'm sure we could stay the night. I don't know what you're implying there, Jax. Yes, you do. I'm no, implying I'm well that... Aware. I'm well aware. I'm being uh, do you need me to explain it? No, I'm okay, thank I you. Mean, absolutely, you should. Realistically... I, I do not need this explained. I'm gonna to go to the tavern. Uh, maybe <laughs> that would be better. I just, I just, I just leaves. <laughs> In fact, where are you going to? Ah, uh, the that's an excellent question. What's the nearest one? The nearest. From uh, the where are we? From, from the, the keep? keep? It'd probably oh, be God. the friendly giant. Margaret. Oh, that one. Let not me pull up the map. Not that one. <laughs> no, no. I think it'd probably be the front, the friendly giant from where you are. Well, uh, from the keep. Weeping mug it is. <laughs> 
Actually, it might be uh, pretty equidistant to all three or all four places. Wow. Uh, uh, the does the keeper slap? The weeping the mug. Yeah, no, the elegant carafe is closest to the keep. Ah, uh, I can't be fucked. Oh, up. I could go for some elegant carafe right now. Elegant <laughs> carafe is closest to the keep. Then it's the weeping mug. Uh, then it would be about equal distance between Friendly Giant and the uh, the Muddy Boat. My favorite thing is looking at the stream and just seeing Ethan forehead. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just just and yeah. Else. yeah. Look, I have I yeah. had actual like maps like yeah, no, I've, I've got the map. Uh, right. I will I will yeah I'll head towards Weeping Mug. Like, I'm I'm going to the Weeping Mug if anyone wants to join me. I feel like I'll follow and. This. Uh, as I leave, I'll just give um, a warm smile to uh, Cass and just leave. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> fucking blue people. That's the big blue bully. <clears throat> uh, as, as you see Sai kind of see moving, this? there's is this elegance in his in his step and his, his movement. Feels very light. Very, uh, it's, it's very, it's elegant in a way. Is it very comparable to Cass? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure we all pick it up. I mean, he's got fucking clouds coming out of his hair. Yeah. <laughs> he's that might, that might, might be a, a slight giveaway. giveaway right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, especially from spending time with Cass, you can tell that Sai is Actually, also after uh, he leaves. an air ganasi. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cass. Hmm? Why don't you have clouds coming out of your hair? Um... I didn't want to. <clears throat> you can ch choose? Yes, I decided not to. <laughs> okay, when Ganassi are born, do you get like a, a sheet with like characteristics you get to choose? Or is this like something that you could just do? Well, I mean, I was born a Ganassi, so I knew other Ganassi, and they told me these were things I could do. Did so they why all, don't you? Did they all talk like that? <laughs> like what? Uh, you know, I guess you can have uh, clouds in your air <laughs> if uh, <laughs> you really think about it. <laughs> It took 39 minutes for us to take the mic out of French accent. <laughs> well, is, this, is this where we realize that canonically all my Ganassi are French now? Yeah, so uh, we... go on, Belle, get on it. <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Je ne parle pas le elemental. What? Oh, what? Enough. Close enough. Close Je ne parle les elemental. <laughs> Right, uh, the rest of you, oh, do you follow um, the Lazarus and Sai as they leave the room, or you do you stay behind? Yeah. To... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay, I'm just going to walk alongside Jax and sort of give him a sort of pat, pat on the back of his shoulder. You know, I suppose I'll probably owe you a, a, a couple of drinks, uh, Jax, if you're, um, if you're feeling it this evening. Uh, I actually won't be joining you this evening. I have some um, friends to meet up with. I'd like to insight check because I don't think Jax has friends. <laughs> <laughs> going to a jaw specialist. Okay. I don't think Jax has friends. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, I thought I had proficiency in insight, but I don't. 17. Uh, Jax, uh, per, uh, persuasion or deception? It's okay. Uh, 19, because I rolled a natural 17. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I don't know. You kind of—it seems like he's going somewhere and has somewhere to be, and people to be with. I guess. Yeah, you know. Pretty oh well. Um, I suppose we'll see you back at the mug later or in the morning. Uh, probably very late. All right. Well, don't get hurt, will you? Don't punch random old men. <laughs> it wasn't a, but it wasn't a random old man. That being said, though, you're probably less likely to get hurt, you know, <laughs> out of my swinging range. I've got a deceptive reach, okay, for a short guy. <laughs> I want to inside check that. 
mean, you witnessed it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. True. I mean, he was right next to me. Like, eh, the reach doesn't matter at that point. Yeah, but that's Did like, you know, it's trying to reach something on the top to shelf. You know? the jaw? I mean, I rolled a, a nine, but I'm... I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> right. Um, and then I'm going to walk away from the party. Okay. Uh, so the rest of you are going of, to the uh, mug. What are you doing, Jax? Yep. I'm out of island. I'm going to cast this guy's self and go find those guys I was on the ship with and gamble with them again. You're going to be like looking like the same uh, you did yeah, last same time old you guy. were with him? Yeah. Uh, you go to the docks. Um, you do see <clears throat> the ship uh, there. Um, and as you approach, one of the people recognize you. They're like, oh, what's going on, man? Uh, are we gambling again tonight? Uh, we'd love to, but uh, we're getting ready to set sail in the morning. We're getting the last things on our ship, and we're heading out for a uh, foreseeable future. But, um, well, you're welcome to help, <laughs> if you can. Uh, that's all right. I do appreciate it, though. Right, and uh, then I guess... Anything you need? I don't think so. Unless you've got news. Uh, not really, no. All right, and I guess I'll just fucking go meet him at the weaving mug then. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean that's that's fine. I didn't know what I was gonna get out of it. All right. Uh, so you guys, uh, while while Jax is going off to the docks, you arrive at the weeping mug. Uh, there, there's there's plenty of room. Um, the uh, owner of the establishment approaches you once you've sat down at the table and all right, some drinks then. Yes, please. All right. Well, just what we all have ale? Ale. 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 Person go for an ale. All right. All right, Lazarus. Well, no need to huff and puff about it. What do you want? What do you mean to huff and puff? I have an ale. What about that princess? I'm very sure. Thank you. All right. Ale oh. Please. Have you got any uh, offcuts or anything for the for the you know for the dog? Uh, oh, I should have something. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't, yeah, a couple, couple doesn't silver. Anything he can't have or? Nah, maybe alright. All right. No onions, but other than kill, that, kill dog. No <laughs> chocolate. Oh, I just see. I think I have some leftover scraps from the from 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 the dinner service. Some leftover meat and yeah, that work. Uh, so it's all right. <laughs> And he uh, goes to fetch you all a round of ale and gets a little bowl with some like, like like trimmings of, of meat and some some chunks of fat from the from from the food that they made for the dinner service and kind of puts it on the floor next to the table. <clears throat> I'll give him two silver, just you know, Thank accommodating you. the dog. Uh, so are you guys opening a tab for the night, or uh, are you guys paying per round? Ah, uh, we'll open it, Tab. Fuck it. All right. I suppose we'll be here a while. This was uh, this we'll was have... five silver, by the way, for the for the for the whole thing. Plus, we'll have uh, rooms as well. If they're available. Uh, yeah. Well, I think those two are still have a room here, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, or did you did you cancel that? Any points at Dagon and Cass? Oh no, we do still have a room here. What? Right. <laughs> I still need a couple more rooms. There's quite a few of us. All right, how many rooms? I just kind of look. Uh, are we bunking up or are we doing individuals? Not if there'll be enough rooms here for us all to go individuals. Uh, so we might we've have got. To let me think. I think we've got one single room left. Uh, like three or four doubles, and I think one triple as well. I'm not mistaken. As much as I would like to take a single room. I think realistically, I'm gonna have to hang about until Jax gets back. Otherwise, he's gonna be sleeping on on the fucking steps, any. So. It's good for the back, I hear. I don't know it's about the, that age, the but. So we'll, I guess I'll we'll, fucking take a double. We'll do we'll do two doubles and a single. Double and a single, right? Uh, let me think. Uh, two doubles, a single. There. Are... How about we say one gold, five silver, and uh, that'll, that'll sort you out. Just give him two gold. Very good. I'll uh, come bring your keys. 
and then uh yeah i mean get yourself comfortable uh don't make a mess don't shit on the floor that's really all the only things we uh said we ask of you that boy don't shit on the floor <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he kind of looks at you and just kind of does that. Does that like confuse, but at the same time, that like you can very, you can clearly tell from his face expressions that he's, he's like, I never shat on the floor. No, I, I'm <laughs> fucking around. God, play along. Um, <clears throat> so he hands you the keys for the rooms that you just booked. Uh, by the time you're, you're like the halfway down your first drink, Jax will walk into the weeping mug. We don't recognize him, do we? Because we've not seen the oh, old true. man. Oh, true. Jax, uh, you see an old man enter the weeping mug. <laughs> I mean, it's oh, the same. Shit. I mean, they recognize that. You've, you've used that form in front of them before, right? Did you not? I don't. Was that not no, the form you took when Davian honestly... punched you in the face? <laughs> no, because no, I, I did that after. Oh, right? yeah. Sure. Did I? I don't know. I think you. Went to gamble with those boys before, and then you went to the pub, and then you got decked in the face. Yeah. Yeah, but he was him when he was decked in the face. Okay, I, I did. Okay, fair enough. Because as far as, far as I'm aware, in nobody in the group has seen Jack's disguise. I don't think so either. Other than when we did the first thing. Yeah, at the, the first. Uh, other than when we broke know. into the, the trade company. Is it the yeah. same as the trade company disguise? Then you've seen it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We went to you the trade company. I don't know what it is. Did I just say old man? Yeah. Yeah. Old man. Yeah. 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 Is it the same old man, oh, okay. the same it. Old man every yeah. time? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> well, then I, I would definitely. Yeah, yeah, just have a vast it. imagination then, of people. Then, then never, never mind. Oh, you see Jax hundreds of years. You see Jax in his human old man form enter the tavern. And I'll like wave at him. Like from just as he walks in, doing that, like, over here. Oh, I thought you said very late, but I suppose at your age it's getting on a bit, eh? Side just looks very confused now. Why? Why are you different? Why is the bot freaking out? Why are you different? <laughs> why are you different? Why do women change clothes? I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> I hope we all change clothes. To be fair. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look down at myself and realize that I've been wearing the same <laughs> uniform <laughs> pretty much <laughs> since we met. I've got two different like clothes. I've been wearing that look the same, but I'm, like kind of different just to have like the embroidery is. <laughs> it's just oh, the same. You, you said late. I've been clean so... at least. I have you said late, well, so I, I got a double room. But... Well, if you want to go to bed early, there's a, a single room. You Why can are go you assuming hide. I wanted to go to bed early? Because you just got here and went, this is late. And you're I all never said this grouchy. is late. <laughs> Barky, two more aisles, please. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <all right. laughs> <laughs> this fucking man. You have not had anything to eat yet. You're fucking moody as out. What? As what? As what? Moody as out, apparently. Are you speaking common? <laughs> <laughs> you're really fucking moody. I don't know why you're fucking moody. You either need something to eat or you need to go to bed. Uh, I need a fucking Snickers. A what? <laughs> uh, Snickers. Are you speaking it's, Snickers? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Vidalkin delicacy. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything it makes about you that. not hungry. How can no. Vidalkin have Most delicacies food, when you, like, your whole thing is trying to improve on everything? Because well, it gets better and better. Every year they add another layer of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, near they added too much, and it's like, it's too much chocolate, it's just too and much And now it's at the point where it's like, three Snickers inside of a Snickers. <laughs> one, year the, Snickers one year the peanuts are on the outside. Now that was really crazy, <laughs> let me tell you. The packaging was awful for... <laughs> it almost looked like a payday. <laughs> Sponsor right. us chocolate well. brand. So, so you sit at the table, here. you have some drinks, yeah. is there anything mm -hmm. you guys do before uh, it's bedtime? So, All right. Where are you from? Just. Mm, I am from a small village called Dwarfsmead. Uh, is that what it's called? A terrible memory. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> where am I from? Uh, oh. A place. <laughs> We're Dwarf, fairly Dwarfsmead. drunk at this that. point. I would assume. Like saying I'm from Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I live on this continent. I live. <laughs> but like, where exactly is that? Like, are you from? 
You from here? Mm hmm. Around about, not too, not too far. Like you're from, dude. Do we know where? Guess and and, and Dagon will know where uh, where Dwarf's meat is. It's in the expanse. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh okay okay. Would I know that? I don't know that. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I'm from adjacent. Yeah, you, Tagalia, you know pretty well. But that's that's about it. It's like you don't know the topography of every province in the the empire. But I've been traveling for many years. So. How old are you? In the empire. I'm ninety-two. Fuck you know. Is that old you for you? Pretty old? good for ninety-two. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you tell us that, like, well. you drink the blood of baby lambs or something. Oh, I would never do such a thing. I'm just yeah, he does to... baby seals. Yes, exactly. <laughs> hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'll, I won't. I won't lie to you, Brooks. Lamb's blood sausage in uh, Goodwind. It's pretty good. I I want to <laughs> take out my journal and flip to the third page. And open it and put, slide it to Sai, and then sign to Kess and ask to ask him if he's ever, in his travels, seen a place with all three of these landmarks. And what you'll see on the journal page, so on the upper left of the page, you see a mountain range with like jagged snow caps, peaks, fiercely blowing wind and snow. The rock faces look very pockmarked, appear to have lived like beyond some harsh weather. On the upper right of the page, you see like peaceful rolling sand dunes with a gentle breeze blowing some grains of sand under a bright sun. On the bottom of the page, you see the mouth of a cavern with a bright light shining at the back of a dark entrance. She wants to know if you've ever seen a place that has all these places there. I look at the uh, notebook. Make, mm. uh, make a history check. Oh, whoa. History check. Thirteen. Thirteen. On your um, <clears throat> travels, you've you've found um, writings of a place where um, how do I say this? A place where a place that doesn't really make sense, where a bunch of landmarks that normally shouldn't be near each other collided in in, in in some strange way. Um, do you know it exists? But you don't know where. I explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like nod in thanks and kind of take my journal back. I sit back. Well. Glad to have your uh, company on this little Adventure, I suppose. Mm, should be an interesting one. This man, uh, Jardin, is seems like a bit of a uh, crazy person. Would say Have that a much one. better one. It seems pretty sane to me. Set things on fire, cause chaos. Mm. Not I, just look, I just look at Jack. Worshipping <laughs> an evil dragon seems a little insane, though. Okay, so don't get Jack starting on worshipping things. God, we might be here all well, evening. I mean, kids in you glass don't houses. Just, I'm not going to say anything. anything. Do you? Mm. Sorry. No, I do not. Smart man. <laughs> Eleven <Wow. that's> <laughs> rolls his eyes. We've been here an hour and we're getting into it. Oh, what do you believe in? <laughs> yes. You can, as you can tell, I apologize for my friends questioning. We are quite the uh, intense group. Hmm. I understand that, but I I prefer well working in nature and you know doing whatever uh, my life leads me to. What did you What did and, you do before this? How did you end up in the employ of uh, mm, Peter Riz? Well, I've been looking for a creature. Yes. Uh huh. He. Uh, a fiend. Interesting. This creature destroyed my family and my home. And I will find it. What, what is it? Is it? Other, other than a fiend? Like... I don't know much about it. All I know is uh, its name 
and what it is. It's a shadow demon called Malek. <laughs> Does anyone I'm know assuming that doesn't ring a bell for anyone. No, it yeah. doesn't. It's my dad. Doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's like best... <laughs> How do you guys like next door neighbor, guys? That's like best I... like growing up in school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think I had a job with him. Yeah, yeah. We used to play cricket at the weekends. Oh, dude, I think I was there when we played your family. Fuck! There you go, case closed. Boom, that's that size backstory. Completely. Thanks for See you later. Well, that's, that's, today, that's me, think, that's me, boys. Pizza after. <laughs> that's a wrap. I've spent so you're just uh, 52, for him. 52 years <laughs> looking for this thing. I've taught myself a bissel. I've met many people on the way, but not gotten too close. Well, I mean, it seems like we all have uh, some sort of, well, I don't want to say all of us, but there's a fair few of us with some sort of greater calling at this table, and hmm. not I don't me. know. <laughs> Maybe we'll end up crossing. You know, if if I've got a hunch at the moment, right? So mm. I'm I'm, I'm after it? a I'm after a red gemstone or two of them actually called the Tears of Kosuth, and I'll pull out my necklace. And if you've ever heard of them or seen one, then I'm I'm really really trying to get my hands on them. And I have a feeling that Fearcrog might be in possession of one, which is why I asked you about it before. Would that ring a bell at all? Um, yeah, <clears throat> you know, um, because of the fact that you are a Ganassi and have, have studied um, the history of the elemental planes, uh, you know that Kosuth was kind of the face and leader of the army of the elemental plane of fire in their war against dragons. Um, and has since then... Um, Kosuth, as well as the basically representatives of all four of the elements, have since then kind of not not achieved like a, a, a status of a god, but have co have collected a lot of followers that kind of revert to them as if they are, especially people that are well versed in the in the elemental arts. So think of think of druids, certain types of sorcerers, uh, but also Gnasi. Uh, for instance, um, definitely, uh, okay. yeah. You, you, you've you've heard of Kasuth? You, you've read about him? Would I know if Jirden? <laughs> have I heard of Jirden and this red gem at all, or no? Um, no. Okay. I'm sorry, but for the gem, I've not seen any anything of what you describe. But if well, I do see it, fingers crossed, I will remember. It would be very convenient if we, uh, well, they both fall into our lap at the same time, I suppose. But, Just don't pick uh, it up, because yeah, don't. Well, if you do see it, don't touch it, because it will. You'll set on fire. Yeah. Hmm. That does not sound fun. <laughs> he doesn't though. He's fine. Yeah, no, I'm all good. Obviously, I'm all good. It's, it's so strange because I don't know. I, obviously, it would be a hell of a coincidence. But I just know that I've been directed to go to the same city that Fearcrog is in right now, but it wouldn't make sense for him to have one. Hmm. Anyway. Maybe the dragon does. That would make even less sense. I don't think we want to fight the dragon. Maybe the dragon's not actually a dragon. Hmm. Or well, maybe true. it was like a really tiny dragon. It just seemed really big. But it was really, it like flew right in front of me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was just Magical illusion. illusions aren't like uncommon. Yeah, I mean, the writing of the sky, it, there's no guarantee it was an actual dragon, right? But mm. um, it I'm just. For that. It was oh, there. No, it feels very thematic to me that if it, it feels right that something's to do with this fucking tear gem thing but if they had a fucking dragon why would they need the tear gem thing 
Well, there's also a conflict of interests because Kosu fought dragons. I don't think they they exactly get along. So for someone who worships a dragon as fanatically as it seems Fearcrog does, it would be strange for him to be chosen. Maybe by. they stole it. But you've already seen what happens when someone who isn't supposed to touch the gem does. Yes, no, but I'm I mean, sure maybe you could touch it with something it. else. Maybe. I, I, I just nod no to that and mime my, like, spectral arms again. Yeah. I'm sure a really powerful dragon could get around that magic. We're getting to the point of it being past my intelligence because I don't feel that great, so uh, I'm just going to put it out there that I really fucking hope it's not a dragon. I vigorously nod. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my my journal out. <clears throat> I'm gonna sit with my back against the wall and just sit and sketch for a bit. What are you drawing now? <laughs> seeing what? seeing Brooks do that, I just get out my journal and flip to a new page, and I start writing my next journal entry. And I look very like copycat and try and <laughs> adopt his like I don't give a fuck like leaning back swamp <laughs> posture, and it doesn't work. It's like a little kid trying to imitate their dad. I yeah, specifically turn my, so that so that like <laughs> the book's directly between me and Cass. It's fine. I'll find out later. <laughs> Uh, what? Hmm? Hold up. Hmm? Is that a, a threat? No! What would I be threatening to do? Barky, t to look through his Round stuff. Round please. Oh, got you. <laughs> That's not a threat. Wait, have you looked through oh, all of our go, stuff? Go, go on, no. elaborate. Have you been going through everyone's shit? Okay, I want to insight check. I check. <laughs> I also want to insight To be fair, she hasn't gone through everyone's stuff. She just nabbed Brooks' journal, so she's not Make lying. Make an insight check for well, uh, Jax, and I'll say that- As far as we know. Uh, because everybody's like, kind of like, I'll give Jax advantage because he's the one that like, instigated it, I think. Ooh, ooh. Should have let me do it, because I've only got a plus one. Golf TDs. I mean, I think mine's only plus two, so it's like, I have a plus six! <laughs> you're supposed to be good at the mental shit because you're not good uh, at the Plus two, shit. uh, 17. Cast that is wisdom though, right? Deception. Seven. Check. Seven. <laughs> Wait, seven? Seven! Yeah. Yep. Len Goodman. Uh, I wrote a four. <laughs> you definitely sense a high level of bullshit uh, coming from Cass's general direction. You know, people keep things private for a reason. Like what? Because they don't Wait. want other people snooping around in their shit. She said like what, not why. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why. I should I, I understand well, they keep it private because it may be uh, hurtful to... No, they, them. Cass wants to know what's being kept private. What I assume... I assume if this is some sort of journal that Brooks is carrying of pictures, he probably draws things he doesn't, of his inner self that he doesn't want people to know about. It's true draws calling. Things of wrong. His inner self. Oh, what do you God. mean wrong? Wait, what do you mean wrong? What do you mean wrong? What? Have you looked through his stuff? No! You would... But... You, you went through my journal. I just kind of have like a, oh no. What, like what a, do you I mean a little bit? No. Kind of no, 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 no. What do you mean a little bit? I mean, like a little bit. As in, like, how much did you go through? Um, were your drawings? Those the letters fell out. <laughs> <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> Put my journal in my back. And I go upstairs. Oh no. Yep. I'm just gonna sign to Kess and be like, you might have fucked up. If you didn't want me to look at it, you should have kept it a secret. I'll slowly move Brooks's ale in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. The I'm second keep... round? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I, in writing. fact, I will pass the bartenders as he brings them across, I'll just pick it up and take it upstairs. <laughs> sure. <laughs> After Brooks leaves, I'm still gonna keep writing the entry that I started because started it now. So, okay. Why, 
Yes. So yeah, Why? we might have a little. We might have to have a little talk about what? About uh, respecting uh, our fellow adventurers' uh, privacy, maybe. Look, at this point, I didn't think we would be sticking together. So then, what purpose was reading his fucking journal? It was curiosity. <clears throat> I was curious. Right. I'm curious too, but I don't snoop through other people's things. Ah, uh, you're not as mm. curious as me then. Well, no, I just know that or people sneaky. want to keep things secret for a reason. I'm just gonna sign. Don't get me wrong. I'm also a pretty curious person. It's one of the reasons why we get along. But sometimes it pays to remember that annoying but cliche saying curiosity killed the cat and then I kind of like let, let <clears throat> wink on the last word <laughs> fortunately I am not a cat it applies to others too Sai you get the sense that this group of people um, is chaotic you. have not been <laughs> in this group for very long and quite frankly you're kind of surprised that they are together. <laughs> I mean, Sai's just leaning back on the chair, sipping his ale, enjoying Chris. the conversations. <laughs> you yes. need to go apologize. For what? I don't understand. For snooping. I told him that I did it. Yes. It doesn't make lied. it any better. You know, things like that, you might have just been better off keeping to yourself. I believe it probably and maybe to you know the telling me about later you know I don't know just not don't you don't don't tell, tell him but then tell you later yeah oh, I, I'm gonna no, I'm no, gonna... no 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 <laughs> you don't go snooping through people's things I'm gonna sign and the if cast. you do you don't tell them <laughs> no you don't do it yeah I'm I'm gonna sign the cast remember how you felt when you were really mad about. Your your full name being outed to the group. That's this is the same. No, it's not. I just I'm back. I just nod no and uh, and then say, if anything, this might be worse because it was one extra syllable of your name and it didn't really change anything we perceived about you or relay any more personal detail. Wait, didn't I don't didn't know what you saw in that book, but there name? might be. Hmm? I guess also. Yeah. Yeah, but because someone else found out, she said that like Davian yeah, found, found out, she got pissy out, she about it, and so yeah. Well, yeah. That was the impetus. So I'm saying, think how you felt in that moment. You know why Brooks is mad. Mm, nah, I was still different. What? Not different? enough. Oh, okay, <laughs> will, hold on. I will yeah. look at everyone and just be like, I don't think we're going to through this point. I thought the dust settle, Kess, and probably in the morning before we go, you should apologize. There are even even certain, if you don't know what you're apologizing for, at least pretend to care. There are certain things if you'd appreciate it. about yourself, about each of us, that members around this table aren't aware of and would rather keep it that way. Well, obviously, we're all lying to each other, aren't we? Right. I just, time. I just nod no. <laughs> so, when <laughs> you go snooping... Inside you know. You can inside check me, go for it. <laughs> No, no, I'm joking. No, no, inside joking. <laughs> Fuck <Stop> it. <laughs> you don't need no. When you go snooping, of course people are going to be upset. In fact, mm. I'm pretty sure you threatened my life when I found out what your name is. Yeah, that wasn't because you snooped, though. <clears throat> but if I had snooped and found it out, then I would probably be dead. Probably. So, there so you go. This is just... You're being a child. Jax, Kess, Kess, Jax. Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> how I feel like at this point. <laughs> Offensive. It wasn't meant to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just... If you're going to go snooping, you may as well just take his journal. No. I think that's what she did. <laughs> I kind of did for a little bit, and then I put it back. <sighs> I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> so I will be in Eldalon for another, you know, probably 12 hours, so plenty of time for you to back out if you uh, feel the urge. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I think it's more, you know, there's always issues in groups. Oh, I'd like to go then. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you understand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't know how easy this will be to do alone, though. No. I'm sure we could always use the extra help. Uh, you know, in the field, maybe not around mm. the table. Just, you know, make mm. sure you keep an eye on your things. Indeed. Yes. I'm not going to steal from Sai. You didn't steal from Brooks. Why would you not True. steal from me? He's offended. <laughs> Who, why would I? I don't well, know. because you fucking What's, snooped, you may as well already uh, steal it. Who what if I, oh, what if no, I no, had no, a diary? No, no. I feel like Kess is trying to get away on a technicality here. I said, who else have you seen? I didn't steal from Sai, si, I just who? took his journal out and read through it a few times. Who else have you no. snooped on, Kess, if anyone? No one. Inside check. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to see if you're lying. I mean, I'm Definitely. the one asking this here. That's a, that's a 21. <laughs> uh, that is a 14. Have you, have you looked at, have you been snooping on anyone else? Uh, no, I don't, uh, no. So I don't think you technically have. No. No. I will, I will, I will see as, I'll see as indifference. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just kind of give her a statement, like, fair enough. Brooks is an intriguing one. I'll give him that. <gasps> oh, I understand why she did it. Yes. Why? She wanted to see if ja if Brooks was writing about her. Or drawing pictures of her. She has a little crush. Uh... Oh, no, that is adorable. You poor thing. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. As soon as the table's turned, Eliza, and you pounce on it like a of fucking Of course. <laughs> no, of course. Right, I'm, I'm going right. to sign to Kess. I'm like, you did look pretty cozy dancing together the other night. You, say well, you, look in the second you guys don't know what was in the journal, so... No. I, I don't need to know. <laughs> because I don't, don't need to snoop. I love how Kess has gone full like child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's so stupid. You're dumb. <laughs> I will... I will... I'll, I'll, I'll turn to... Oh, Devin, you're not disheartened at this. After all that you wanted... Kess to show hmm? you. Hmm? Hold hmm? on, pouring tea. <laughs> ale. He's, ale. Ale. Yeah. he's pouring the dregs of empty yeah. glasses into okay. other ones to make yeah. it easier. In Brooks's empty bottle. Yeah. What, dis did you say disheartened, Elazarin? Yes. No, not at all. You relish the competition? <laughs> not, not exactly. That's a weird way to put it. <laughs> I'm also going to sign to Kess. For the record, you can read my journal whenever you want, but you'll already know everything that's in it, so it'll be kind of dull. Yeah, that's what I figured. <clears throat> I'm saying, this case, you've now got that book you can read instead, if you needed reading material. Mm, that's true. Was Brooks's journal as juicy as that book? I'm not sure, I haven't started reading this book yet. Remember, chapter four is a good one. <laughs> that's true. I will note that. Is he, good, uh, uh, is he a good artist, at least? I mean... Yeah. Any interesting images? Or would you not want us to know? You know if you want to know, steal it yourself. I can't be fucked to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just ask him. I'm sure he'd share his drawings. Well, obviously not, because I already asked him, and then he hid it even more. Which is why I stole well, it. Well, you never really asked. I did. I well, yeah. the drawing, and then he just hid it. Okay, maybe he wasn't done with it. That doesn't give you the right to go snoop and look. I'm sure I snooped and looked before that point, so I mean... I would have just snooped and looked again. True. Wait, and but why did you target Brooks versus anyone else? <clears throat> now I won't. Maybe. Okay. It's progress, I'll take it. All I'm saying, out of character, it's gonna be real great whenever all the stuff about the vessel comes out. We can be like, hey, little hypocrite, how's it going over there? 
<laughs> um, yeah, at this point, like, if it's been like a couple of hours of drinking or whatever, or an hour or two, I'll, I'll head off. I'll pick one of the double rooms. Like, I don't know who's joining me, if anyone is. Uh, because a long day Not tomorrow. Saying. Should we send Sira so, <laughs> No, yeah. he's got, no, she has got her own place and very much is, needs to get accustomed to her surroundings, so. Don't need Sira. D did something happen between you two? Like, are you okay? You sounded kind of sad. Nothing. Nothing has happened between us. It's quite okay. Is, is that a I think disheartening? No, you guys are reading far too much into a situation which you believe has happened that hasn't. Ditto. I think you are. Uh... Watch your manners, and I'll go upstairs. I don't have good manners. Mm. I don't hear it. I'm gone. <laughs> and to whatever double room and. Sure. Kind of just, I'll be, I'll be staying awake. I'm mean, waiting for whoever joins me in my room. All right, I'm gonna take uh, Owen for a walk, even though I don't really know if he needs. I'm sure he does. Whatever. I'm gonna take Owen for a walk, and then I'll probably go join the Lazarin. Make sure to take your stuff with you. You wouldn't want Kess to look through it. I just throw my backpack to Kess. <laughs> <laughs> See. Maybe I'll keep you occupied. Thank you. And uh, I'll head out. And walk Onu along the river. All right. Would you like to look through my bag too, Kess? Nah, I figure it's probably really boring. Full of like old people's no, stuff. No, you probably couldn't figure old out how to use it anyways. Stuff. Well, there's originals. <laughs> 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 and it's got like some medicine for like arthritis. If you get right to the bottom, there's it's a got biscuit some tin. For but when you open it up, it's just full of needles and thread. Yeah, those fucking oh, cookie man. tins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yeah. It's, got my crochet. it's got my crochet in it. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, a little so bottle. Yeah, biscuit. Just, just ah, as a bit shit. of information that I don't know if I told you, but you being a mercenary for uh, Cal's Deer's Adventurers, you have a room in the guild hall where you, where okay. you sleep. Okay. Um, anything you guys want to discuss or do before uh, you all go to bed? No. I want to discuss something with Davian. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just say before everyone, like, before the, uh, at least a majority of people leave, I'll just be like, um, I'm going to uh, go to my quarters, but where do you want to meet in the morning? Here? Here? Okay. Break of dawn. Break of dawn. Perfect. You guys have a good night. Good night, Sai. I'll head to bed. All right. So we're not going to be awake at the break of dawn. Uh, like, yeah, I'll, do, I'll just, door. I'll just be waiting there. <laughs> Davian, I'll be down you there. Walk, you walk. You know, you spend a little time with Owen. You're walking him along the river, yeah, enjoying sort of like the uh, the night sky, using speak with animals and just I don't know, making making conversation. Wait, did someone say they got a single room? Yeah, well, I think that was for Sai, but Sai has his quote. Yeah, like, well, we, said, we said there was a single room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take it. <laughs> sure. Um, I get the double to myself. And right? before I go to bed, oh. I'm going to pull out my fucking tin cans and some string oh, and start around the room and put. <laughs> Oh, no, he's gonna he's gonna throw one out the window. Cans, and the, yeah. He's gonna catch it, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, hello, can you hear me down there?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the alarm spell on the uh, outside of my You're room. gonna cast what? Sorry, the alarm spell. Okay, we will cast it. Sure. Okay, she but it's really just a bunch of tin cans shit. and string hanging around in my room. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most redneck alarm system I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door and there's just three Don't cans of beans. That's... Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You, no uh, you table fixed it. Um, Davian and Elastrin, what is happening in your room? Um, I kind of wait, wait for a bit. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? I come back with Onu. <clears throat> is is anyone still at the table? It's probably out for like 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. Really. Yeah, okay. Then I get my backpack from Cass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have any, any from... Anything more for looking at? No? No, mostly like camping stuff. Mm. Didn't Less leaves than I thought. No. I'll throw some in there for uh, next time. Mm -hmm. And I'll sling it over my shoulder and <laughs> head off. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll wait for, um, for, for Davin to come to the room. Um, wait a little bit before I sit down and just sort of. Uh, oh, so then, um, 
Davian, if we're being open about certain things, um, I don't suppose you've seen this symbol anywhere, have you? And I will show him. I will draw on, on, on the bits of paper, extra paper I got from the um, fucking post service, the mm -hmm. web with a sword in it. Oh. And. Okay. You show him. I don't suppose you've um... seen this anywhere, have you? Old. Mm -hmm. Old. Old. Let's freeze. Fuck. Make a history check. As you look at this symbol that is a, a, a spider web with a sword like, kind of in the middle of it. I don't mind. Dice gods in the name of law dumps. That is like a fucking 10, I think. History? Yeah, 10. You vaguely remember seeing that emblem somewhere. Uh, um, in fact, you, you're not sure where it was, but you swear that on your travel somewhere, you found like the, the remains of a camp of some sorts that had that, in, that, that insignia. Uh, but you're not sure where that was and how long ago. It's just like that imagery, it, it, it brings up some memories, but it's been a while and you're not sure exactly the details of where and what it was exactly, but you've, you've seen it before, yeah. I've definitely seen it somewhere before. I'm not too familiar, though. And I ask at this moment people to deafen. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry? You want people to deafen? I ask the people to deafen, please. Okay. Oh. Fuck you, Break you, Secrets, secrets, secrets. All right. Um, this is a symbol of a group that I am affiliate was affiliated with. Uh, they call themselves the Nightwebs. Um, the <clears throat> high and mighty, and very powerful across the lands. Even here, I yes. As far as I'm aware, I thought they didn't quite their influence didn't stretch this far, but alas, it does. They. I've had a change in leadership and are trying to tie up loose ends. I am one of those loose ends. As I said, I was affiliated with but never a member. I didn't agree with them. They're after me. The um, farmer we met uh, was approached by my old mentor. and We didn't meet him by chance. He was there to try and find me. To give me a message. To warn me. A warning as a friend or a, a warning, warning as a friend. Okay. <clears throat> and as we get more and more into the city and more around, they have they have eyes in a lot of high places. Especially with important figures. They <clears throat> like to think to themselves that they can control who's in power and who isn't. This, well, this probably should have come up sooner. I mean, I didn't want to worry others because it seemed like empty threats at first. It but the more might, I do, well, the more the more we've gone to civilization, the more I fear that it's not quite as empty a threat as I thought. Not seeing anything. We'll probably drag us into it. Yes, and I'd. We have a lot on our plates, and I don't need doing anything else like this, especially not something that. Hold on, I just had a floorboard creak. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably one of the drunk and not going upstairs. Practic sound effects now, guys. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, if it's in the city that you're worried, that's even worse. Because at least when we're out on the road and we're all sleeping, you know, sleeping rough, it's easy for everyone to keep watch. Mm. Can't exactly have everyone staying up overnight to keep watch. No. Exactly. But, um, they'll be coming after me more than anyone else. Um, which I know doesn't make exactly you the most comfortable, but you'll want to know I can trust at the moment with this sort of information. I'm a very light sleeper, but, um, I don't, I don't know if Onu needs to sleep. I, Still kind of getting used to this whole thing. 
It should be fine. Just... I'll tell the others soon enough, but... We've got more important things to be dealing with than... Past catching up. Especially a past that I wasn't really involved in. Have you... Noticed anything? No, I tried to. Especially on, far, especially on those in the meeting, in the council. They um, identify themselves with a tattoo on the shoulder. But... Too many... Too much clothing. Couldn't see. Couldn't tell. Or oh, they're very good at hiding it. So these aren't, like... Uh, Run-of-the-mill assassins or anything, I suppose. Or what... what... <clears throat> How, how know. would we know if someone's looking for you? Exactly. That's what they're good at. They're good at removing people without them knowing they've been removed, almost. It's that, you know... Removal of persons. Hmm. Well... But... I suppose the least we can... Well, the most we can do at this point is keep a keen eye out and... Not sleep too... Oh, sleep with one eye open. As I say, I uh, didn't want to alarm you or worry you, but I thought we might as well for being open about certain things. I have got this information, and it's been a few days, and I've been trying to keep an eye on myself, but it does worry me. How... How do they operate? I don't know. I was... My tutor at the church introduced me. He was a member there, and... He oh, like, a, like secret handshakes and yes, it's a very. It's not affiliated fully with the church. Just the church is a facet of their multi, you know, corporate ways. I don't know how exactly how they work fully. I don't know who's involved. I don't. It could be everyone. It could literally be the tiniest group who just think they're involved in everything. That I don't know. But they try to get rid of people who they believe are corrupt. Not everyone is as corrupt as they think they are, or their version of corruption isn't what you and I would think of as corruption. Mm. They, uh, as I say, I don't know fully. I was never fully initiated. I was never, I left before that could happen. Um, Close enough. For them to want to kill you, but far enough that you don't really well, know. Well, I know of them, and I've been in some inner meetings, but nothing important was said there. It's it's enough. And there's a lot of people who dislike those who aren't f fully pledging themselves. Well. It's most secret other organizations are. Until until you want to sort of bring this up with everybody, I suppose we bunk together most of the time, so to me. I appreciate it. And I well, you know, I have a keen eye. At least I like to think so. <laughs> and uh tomorrow Onu will be a keen eye in the sky, hopefully. So Sounds good. Well right, have a good night's rest. Sorry, I didn't mean to burn mm. you just before night. And I will well, kind of Head to bed, just kind of like, cut like, really look like. <laughs> <laughs> um, while while everyone's while oh, everyone's just, you know, while everyone's deafened. Okay. I'm also going to lay down, and I'm going mm -hmm. to take my tear of truth, and uh, I, how do I how do I fucking how do I commune with a an elemental lord? I don't know. How do you? Fucking grasping them both hands. God. Um. Let's not talk about the ERP context chat. I'll yeah. grasp it in both hands, and I'll just—I don't know, man. Concentrate yeah. really hard on any any creeping flickers of flame um, or thoughts. You start to feel this this warm, almost like tingly sensation, kind of uh, flow through your whole body as you blink and you have a vision you kind of have like a bird's oh, eye view of uh, nah you're good you're good okay you have like a bird's eye view of um of streatham uh, an industrial town 
so you can see some factories in one district and 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 a lot of um workshops in the other um then you just hear a roar a very loud roar you blink and your vision shifts to a creature who's only the only thing you see is a shadow but it's large and from the center mass of the shadow you can see a gem a tear and that's when but, uh, but nothing the tear was on the floor like it wasn't touching anything it was just you saw this like monstrous shadow and in the center of the shadow you saw the tear. oh as in like the shadow was anim animated yeah yeah yeah. like a okay okay i i was thinking like it was the shadow of something no, and the no, you saw the like this 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 monster okay. shadow that was animated i guess and in the center of the shadow you saw you see the gem and that's when uh you kind of return back to the room you're in i will just like uh still still clutching the gemstone close my eyes and just say if if he's working with dragons or worships dragons then why does he have a stone Get no reply okay and uh <laughs> go to sleep all right we get done nothing <clears throat> All right, boys, nice. we need to know for the wiki mm -hmm. <laughs> which one of you is You the mean top. the world anvil. True. <laughs> oh, a last one, definitely. <laughs> and the last one's the top. <laughs> Told you. Right. So, you wake up the next morning, uh, sigh. Break of dawn. Break of dawn. You are at Downstairs. the wiki rug. Who, which I'll one of you is actually like, awake at the break of dawn? Yeah, yeah. Break, break of dawn. Sigh's there, like, rocking his feet in his chair, like, <laughs> Two hours later, Cass is probably already downstairs. Okay. Same. Nobody told Brooks what time to get up because he went to bed early. Jax is not sleeping with you, so he wouldn't wake you up. Never mind. Nope. Jax went into a separate room. <laughs> All right. So Brooks so, is uh, asleep. Sai, as you walk into the tavern, you can see Kess and Daigon are already downstairs at a table. Uh, and uh, the rest will probably follow soon. Not as well. Good morning. Good morning. I, I kind of wait a bit and stumble down eventually for like 20 What's minutes. What's the interior of the, um, the rooms like? A very basic, very plain. There's uh, there's two beds in the room that you're in. Um, like a small closet to, to put some clothing in, should there be a need for it. Like a little little table, little bedside table with a candle on it if you wanted to do some reading. That's about it. It's very, it's very... No easy. fire? Okay. No. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get up and... Uh nudge onu and head out um when i as i go downstairs i'll like look and see if i can spot brooks which i guess i can't like from the <laughs> stairs or whatever just like peek into the no, uh into the, the main stairs, room and I'll, I'll go back up and knock on his door uh <clears throat> brooks i mean how loud are you being as the crack of dawn I mean, I knocked and I called out, but not super loud. No response. Bust down the door. He could be dead. Quick. <laughs> I'll knock again a little farmer, but if there's no response, I'll... I'll uh... mm. Ah, leave it be for the time being. And head down. So, anyone heard from Brooks since last night? And I'll... Sort of glance at Cass. I figured he was still asleep. I gave a knock on his door. He's probably still asleep, but mm. just checking. He doesn't do early. It doesn't do uh, doesn't do well early. I should say. What the fuck? I'll Smell go upstairs and wake him up. <laughs> like a soft little tap. Oh, did anyone pick up the tab? Not yet. Uh, you opened it, my guy. 
We'll get I'll it. I'll go over to the bar. And, uh... Morning. It's of the morning. Um... What? Do you... Well... Breakfast? Just throw it on the tab and then we'll clear it all up before we get out of here? Uh... Yeah, sounds good. It'll be, uh, including breakfast for... How many of you were there? Seven? Seven? Uh, I'll be paying mine separately. What? Um... Oh, six. Uh... Pfft. Including drinks from last night, or already paid for the. Wait, did you pay for the rooms? Or did you put them in your tab? I forget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Elijah gave you two gold. Right, right, right. Um, that we'll call it uh, for all the drinks last night and the breakfast. We'll call it a gold, and you get to go. Oh, yeah, sounds good. I'll uh, slide him a gold and go and sit easy back easy. down. Right, Boop. and he uh, brings out some food, some very basic breakfast, some eggs, some uh, like a little, a little, little bowl of fruit. Some some nice uh, slices of toast, some sausages, some roast tomatoes, and that's about it. Yeah, it works. It's food. Kaz immediately goes for the fruit. Most important meal of the day. I'll 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 eat like an apple if there's an apple that's come out. Sure. <laughs> and uh, well, I don't know if any of you. Fighting a hangover, but I'm definitely a little groggy. Could do with some bacon or eggs or anything. Just you something. did drink a lot of ale last night. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, you know, we're going to be on the road for a few days. It's <laughs> probably not going to, not going to see. Well, I was going to say we probably won't see a drink for a while, but given Brooke seems to be carrying around a, you know, a right. small bar's worth of liquor, well, I'm sure we'll be alright. <laughs> That bar is now sans the half a bottle of whiskey that it had in it. Ux! Are you dead? <laughs> Ooh. I'll try that. I'll open the door if it's not locked. Did Brooks lock the door behind him? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, Brooks! You, uh, locked the door! <laughs> I will unlock the door. And I will open it about an inch. What the fuck are you doing at this time of the morning? Uh, we're leaving. Oh, we fuck. <laughs> um... I had to sleep out here because you... this early. <laughs> I decided we would. <laughs> I shut the door in his face. At that point. <laughs> <laughs> and I will go downstairs. No luck. Uh, about 15 <laughs> minutes later, I'll come down. Okay. Smell of the morning. How are you feeling? You uh, get enough sleep? No, no, I did not. I had a vision <clears throat> last night. And, uh, Sai, you'll be happy to hear there's something big waiting for us in Streatham. Oh. Oh, oh good. It, I, I couldn't tell you what. It, it looked like it was, I don't know. Kesh, you know when you do that thing where you, like, pull a sword and it's all shadowy and... Mm. Sort of similar to that, but it was just a big, like a monster of some kind, like a, and a shadow demon of some kind. <laughs> no, no, that would be convenient. <laughs> but man tells us he's looking for a shadow demon. The next well, night, you have a vision of a big shadowy monster. Convenience on convenience. At the heart of this shadowy monster was the Tirakos Sooth that I'm looking for. Whoa. And I <laughs> wish I was kidding, but... Okay, well, for, uh, just so that, uh, for the record, <laughs> the shadow, like, uh, had the, the, the being, the monster shadow that you saw definitely had some draconic features to it. And just, you know, so everyone's clear, the shadow that I saw did have some draconic features. <laughs> oh, uh, you need us to astray for a second. Shadow demons have draconic features. 
I've never fucking no. seen one. Uh, I mean, if it's a shadow of a dragonborn, it's probably got draconic features in the shadow. I'm mad at you, Dodge. I, I want to sign the cast. Like, how <laughs> that does... was so fun. Like, <laughs> shadow demon being a creature of shadow? Uh, like, that yeah, would have been great. Yeah, I, 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 I signed I, a I, cast okay, to ask Davian, how does he know <laughs> this is a vision as opposed to just a normal dream? I mean, all of those are things that were discussed right before he went to bed. It could have just been a dream, and that's what was on his mind. I'm hoping... I guess I get this through Cass. Um, Up to her. Cass kind of just replies immediately to you, like, yeah, well, he does have visions of Kasuth, so I imagine at this point he knows the difference between a vision and a dream. I reached out. It wasn't... I didn't just fall asleep and see it. I really tried to ask. I... I was looking for answers, I suppose, and I got an, I got one, and then went to sleep right afterwards. I'll just nod then. Maybe I should have asked Blue. Maybe. I didn't think to. No, I well, forgot. sounds like we could do the <sighs> normal thing of investigating. Wait, Kess, I meant to ask you something, but I forgot. Hmm? Oh, we could ask her if she snooped through other people's belongings. I did not. No. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I should ask it. What was that noise? Just ask no. the question. Well, how close? Uh, how close to your heart is the name of Blue? Because um, I was doing some reading. Mm hmm. I learned about a certain Jin who was apparently fair and stepped up in in the in in the war. Mm -hmm. Uncharacteristic of an air elemental or Jin or something. Um. And then apparently I bought some coffee. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Is it related to the whole blue thing? The coffee? No, that's just what I had in my journal. Oh, okay. What What is this blue thing you're talking about? My friend Blue. She, she has an imaginary friend. I do she not have an imaginary friend. She talks to an... Uh, from what they told me... Uh, Semi deity of the elementals. Um, mm. Well, okay, I'll I'll just, I'll just come out with it. Friend. Is it is it by any chance Rusmu the Fair? Rusmu? I don't know. I only know him as Blue. Mm. I met him when I was really small, so I kind of just named him, and he went with it. I mean, you're still pretty small. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you should ask him, him an arbitrary name. I never thought to care enough to actually ask him his real name. Well, Kess doesn't actually care for people from what we've seen. First she of all, violates their privacy. First of all, Blue is this not is a person. Blue is a gin. Blue is so not a person. Got it. Blue is a gin. He's not a person. He's gotcha. an imaginary gotcha. friend. Gotcha. You said it. <sighs> Gins don't have the same value as people. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Probably more so than people I, I Exactly, assume. that's why I say he's not a, a person, he's a jinn. Mm, not a point of tracking. But you don't care enough about jinn to ask his name. He's not like that. He kind of just... vibes. I'm pretty sure everyone appreciates it when you ask their name. Unless they're incognito, in which case, obviously, you would not appreciate I, when you ask your name. I don't... I'm going to be honest with you. When I met you all, I introduced myself. You know, you gave your names, so I mean... I can kind of see where Blue is coming from in this situation. Okay, okay, hold well, on, hold on, hold on. You, you were introducing yourself to strangers at the time, though. This is yes. someone that Kess has clearly been acquainted with for a very long time. Listen, it's that very point, you know, when you're, you know, when you like know someone for ages and like you see them and you've forgotten their name, you're like, I had this, I had this friend once, yeah, and, and you uh, there like, What's his name? and she, you she them. told me, uh, well, I knew, I knew her as Belle for years, and then uh, one day she told me her name was Beth, and I lost my mind. So you know, I, same, <laughs> same boat, really. I mean, if if you know, if one day she was just to be like, oh, by the way, my name's uh, George. There's a, there's a, there's you know a fairy what? tale about it. that. There was some, some. Uh, some duke in the Ferber kingdom. <laughs> His real name was fucking Moses. Yeah, but duke's a title. That's different. <laughs> I hope it's different. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I just realized something. Yes. <laughs> Do any of you have last names? Yes, I mean, I'm not, Raya. yes. But I'm not telling you it. Well, I know we know yours, Davian. 
Of Guess Briar's I wouldn't pal. expect you to because you didn't even want to know your name was Kesslin. Why that matters, we don't know. Do you have a last name? It was gross. I don't. Yeah. Well, you know my multiple Tudor names, obviously. Didn't... Uh, yeah, Lazarin, Julius, I'm about to see you. <laughs> I'll be honest, I never bothered writing yours down on last one. I've always been more of like a nickname or title guy. Oh, oh you can call me... No, I was going to come up with something back on. The Thunder! <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite as dramatic as that. No. I was known as well, the what Collector. Was it? Is... Oh! The, the collector. Is that why you kept hacking heads off fucking whatever those things were? I never collected heads, although... You should maybe in... names. Oh, we, what if we collected heads, but we took, like, busts and then made them and, like, put them on array for, like, our defeats? Okay. Like death masks. When, yes. What, when we uh, when we own, uh, you know, a fortress or castle. Oh, we don't need a place. I can keep them in my bag and then we can pull them out. Yeah, Did like we with... do with the other heads that we have. Yeah, it's like this one. And I'll pull out like a really degraded fucking <laughs> one. Gooey like, head. That, yeah, that that shit. Shit. That's that's that, did nasty. you pull the head out and like? Pull, uh, it's been rotting for for a little while. <laughs> he goes to grab the head and just the scalp comes out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab it. I'm just gonna grab it, but by like like extending my claws and like putting the claws, so I'm just stepping, so my hand isn't touching it, and I'm just gonna walk outside the inn and just like toss it somewhere see, and then come back inside. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. A small exactly. child down the street starts the street. screaming as they get hit in the side of the face a with a Yuanti skull. Look at you as you just <laughs> drop this like. It's not an it's not recognizable. Head of... Was this, was this so bad, dude? It, it was one of the brood... Uh, yeah. Let me, let me see if it was just a, a, a regular brood guard. Hold on. You took the head of a snake dog <laughs> that had been fucking rotting um, for like two weeks. We don't need to keep I, it. You want tea heads is what I have listed. Did you want tea? Okay. So like this half just rotten head of a dead yuan tea. And you <laughs> toss it on the floor and like a handful of people look at you. And just I, like, slowly, my claws on the side of the building. slowly, <laughs> Mr. DM. <laughs> yes. Given that it's half rotted away, how much does this look like a rotted human head? It's pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to uh, get up from the table uh, and go. So glad Siren's not here. The fireplace. Mm -hmm. And uh, with with my dagger, I will sort of. Like a little uh, lock of Onu's fur, and uh, you know, sit in front of the fire, and sprinkle the fur into the fire, and as it sort of burns up, I will conjure him as a, a shoe bill All once right. more. Oh, big sad. So with that, uh, the uh, painted dog disappears, and uh, Onu gets resummoned in his shoe bill stork form. He kind of rust rustles his feathers a little bit and, and kind of looks at everybody. You know, he takes some steps and you can see his like little 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 bird knees, you know, on the long legs. Uh, and looks at you all and just kind of tilts his head to you. All right. <clears throat> Give him a little uh, sc scritch on the top of his head. Looking uh looking better than ever, to be fair. Oh no. Hope it's not too confusing, sort of going between a, a, a dog and a bird. I mean, I don't, I don't know. He just kind of, he just kind of like the bird equivalent of like a shoulder shrug, like you know, two mm. two wings go like up like this and tilts his head a little bit. All right, I'll uh, head Very back to the right. others. I suppose we should go get the horses and cart and be on our merry way. Yes. Uh, sounds good to me. Indeed. I picked up the tab and all that, so. <laughs> good to leave whenever. Well, right. For a bit and then. I don't know. Excuse me. So. You go to fetch the horses mm -hmm. who uh, have definitely s s seem to have been, like, recovered from their scare the and, and burns and, and whatnot. They all While we're to... out and about. Mm hmm. I want to be keeping an eye out for anyone keeping an eye on us. Okay. Make a perception check. Oh, it's good. I want to say 19. Just let me double check. 
Yeah, 19. That's enough. You um, fetch the horses and uh, begin your uh, your three-day journey to Streatham. Um, as you begin your travels, um, Davian, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be by the horses again, like on the front of the carts, while the rest is in the back? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Anything you guys wish to do or discuss? or, or, or... Uh, I, I would like to uh, send Onu up. Okay. At least, you know, uh, sort of intermittently throughout the journey to make sure we're not being followed. All right. Sounds, sounds good. In a moment where people seem like they're not really paying attention, mm -hmm. I will go up to, to Sai and pull out a bit of folded paper and go, I'm sorry to disrupt you on this journey and ask you more questions. We seem to be inquisitive towards you but don't suppose you've seen something that looks a bit like this and i'll show him the image of the um sp spider's web and sword i'll just turn and smile and have a look make a history check oh dear 14. um you have met people on your travels that had that emblem tattooed on them. Okay. Uh, I never really thought thought much of it. But you have met people that, that like had like a matching tattoo that resembles the drawing okay. that uh, Elazarin is showing you. Mm, I've seen this on, on tattoos, but not sure on its meaning or anything more. That's... Fine, just curiosity. No, mm. no need to worry about it. Okay. Is this is this a hush hush conversation? Yes, or is very it... hush hush. Very like okay. this is like I'm working for a point where everyone else is like, if like Bricks is asleep, Jack is like tinkering, Kess and like thing are like talking to each other. With, that's kind of like just mm. you know, it's been a few hours into the journey. Everyone's kind of less chilled. He just kind of like goes up to make like <laughs> in part of idle conversation. Oh. Like, takes a bit of paper, shows him, puts it back in the second he's like showed him. Uh, very hush hush. Okay. Um, Jack, so I don't suppose uh, map case. got any maps that might help us out here? Nope. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> no. Three days it is in. Unfortunately. Maybe Chad took it. I rolled a natural one. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you don't know what maps map anymore at all. You've never heard of maps. You pull out maps out of your map case. One is like a map of, of some like under under t under dark uh province that you've never even been to there's a, there's a map of uh um, <laughs> there's a map of the goodwind kingdom you know like, oh, that's not it uh, there's a map of segalia that's also not it but somehow the map of of keldar uh, so you just can't find people, it my favorite people people's out is the map of the ocean but with no island reference so it's just blue <laughs> it's just the ocean this is water yeah, yeah it's like getting, political getting, coordinates getting, uh, that mean nothing. Yeah. Um, getting a sea chart in Wind Waker. It's as just like Onu yeah. kind of uh, flies up <laughs> about halfway through your first day. Uh, Onu begins to make some sound, make some noise. And as you kind of uh, hear that, Davian, you look ahead. And you can see down the road, there is a um, cart of some sorts flipped on its side to the side of the road. Uh, boxes kind of spread around. Um... And as you get a little closer, you do see that there is three, um, what seems to be bodies, uh, kind of spread around that area of the road. I guess I'll, I'll slow up the horses, like, as soon as I catch sight that there are, there's, there's bodies and stuff, so, like, I don't know, like, a hundred feet or something away. Okay. Slow up the horses. Uh, um, looks, I don't know, looks like a crash or something up ahead. Do they look alive? Any movement? Make a perception check. <coughs> Natural 20. Uh, they do not seem to be moving, no. I will... I'm going to cast May Drama on myself. Natural 20, just for that. God yeah, damn. Sorry. As we get... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Do they look... <laughs> I, how close are we to them? Uh, I think they having... <coughs> stops the car. I said 100, 100 feet. feet. We, we pulled yeah. the car about 100 feet away. I will... Uh, I mean, I'll see bodies and it's like... Uh, I'll have a look and yeah. kind of jump down from the car and kind of I'll dash over. Oh, someone and I'll activate my up. armor as we go. Okay. I'll follow them with a 
short yeah. sword. I'll slowly s in hand. Follow as well. Right, so I'm all, do you all so... travel together, or I'm gonna stay with the cart and horses because if someone's attacking carts and horses, I'm not gonna leave them while we all go okay. up there. I'm also um, gonna stay with the horses, but I'm gonna send um, Fawn up in my place. Big up. All right. Someone um, wake me up. <laughs> nope. Stop. I'll wake up. Cool. Works, too. Okay. Oh. Wow, Laura metagaming? Damn. <laughs> Alazrin <laughs> is like, no. Okay. Yep, right, so uh, we have Alazrin, yep. Sai, Jax, and Davian heading towards yep. the corpses, and the rest of you are staying behind mm -hmm. the cart? Okay. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, and Onu's up. Okay. Onu is up top, right. Um, uh, you uh, look and, and look at the bodies, and there are three humans, all dressed in clothing, wearing a pin resembling the crafters' union of Eldilon. Uh, you can see some like broken boxes of of now broken trade goods uh, laying around. Do you have a closer look, or? And I may I say, I want to make a medicine yeah, I get check. The body. I want to make a medicine check on the bodies to okay. see like cause of death, how long ago, sure. shit like that. Uh, make a medicine check. And while he's doing that, I just want to look around for any tracks or of any kind around make here. Make a survival check. That's a dirty twenty. Oh my. 3020, uh, you can see that as you kind of flip one of the bodies over, there's these three, these two very large uh, puncture wounds um, in this person's chest. It seems that to you that this, this individual has been, been gored by a certain animal of some sort. Gored? It looks like Is animal there... rather than sword or anything like that. Yeah, no, these, the, these are too, way too big holes I to be recognize... swords. I recognize type of animal that would I mean, I'll make a make a survival check Davian I had to uh, investigate the goods in the cart yes you can what did you roll for the uh, survival check Ele Vincent? 11 11 for the tracks 11 um uh, you don't really see any tracks no all right okay hold on so Davian your survival check yeah I got uh, wait where's my I got natural 8 plus 5 so 13 Either um, you reckon this, like, you kind of go through the thing, either a very small minotaur or Ugh. some kind of bull. This is your best horns. guess. Yeah, okay. Mm, uh, dirty 20 to check what was in the cart. Definitely horns. In the carts? Uh, okay. You go through the carts, and a lot of the stuff there is broken. But what you do find is a working or a functioning set of tinkerer's tools. Uh, Ooh, a brewing okay. kit, and you also find a set of thieves' tools hidden away. All right, not like not antlers. No be more than this, but would I know from like experience with people of like mercantile trading? Would I get a think that maybe they may have used bulls to carry their cart rather oh, than? Uh, no, uh, that is the, you know that that is not a thing. Okay. Um, so as gonna, you're kind of there, gonna, and you're investigating. Wait, I'm gonna call out to the cart mm -hmm. for Brooks real quick. Okay. I will walk over. All right. Well, why don't we just bring the cart? Brooks, hey, do you guys want to bring the cart? Mm, okay. I'll... Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Didn't you mention that you knew a mine at all? Yeah. Why? We all know of one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but like Brooks knows him, knows him. Brooks knows yeah. him though. Yeah, yeah. How big would you say he is? Have like, you seen him do like, something like this? And I'll show he's him. He's fucking the... like eight foot, any. He? Uh, yeah, but you also know that. Um... Hold on. Give me a second while I open up the description of Brachito. Fact check something. Um, you also know that, uh, Brachito, the Minotaur you know, has his horns shaved down. Yeah, I don't think he's accusing Brachito of I think he wants, a, like, a size comparison. But no, I totally was, because I don't know him. <laughs> I, all I know is that you had some sort of trade business with a Minotaur, and these are traders, and this guy's been gored. So that's kind of what I was, oh, yeah. I was, that's why I, I said, like, have you seen him, have you seen him do anything like this? Oh. Yeah. I I mean, no, because he he doesn't have horns. Well, he does, oh. but he he files them down. 
Right. Okay. Well, it's not him there. I, I, that's the only monitor I know of. Uh, it could be a bull. Guess. Um. Not a monitor. What is your 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 um, passive perception while you're kind of standing there having a chat? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, mine's fourteen. Fourteen. I'm just still uh, just a vague. All the bodies well. the same. All the bodies 14. the same, like bored and. Mine's fifteen. 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 What's yours, Vincent? Uh, what is my your passive perception? Passive perception. Uh, 14, 14. 14. Mine's also fourteen. <laughs> um. Oh no, this is twelve. Nice. What was yours, uh, Cass? Sixteen. Okay. She's back of the car. You see that in the shrubbery around your friends, both on the left side of the road mm -hmm. and the right side of the road. Oh, here we go. You you start to spot movement, and this green vapor kind of emanating from something that gets closer and closer to your allies. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast it. The, the um, vapor. What's the range of that again? Uh, 120 feet. 120 feet. Uh, they're, they're just outside of that, so but you can de uh -huh. definitely tell them, tell they're getting closer. Uh, you're not sure what it is, but you see movement, and you see like I'm gonna get Thorn to um, mention it to the others. Um, hey, uh, apparently something's sneaking up on us. Uh, I'll turn. I'll turn to look around. I just look, look around. Look around, yeah. I back up so that we're in a like a can I, can of, can I hide? Uh, make a stealth check. <laughs> just hiding the remnants of the cart. They weren't moving when you rolled, dude. They're moving now. I do get advantage if I'm trying to hide, like camouflage. I get a I'm trying to hiding spot because uh, of I, a cloak. Sure. But I didn't sky. A, I, it's like, the same I, color as um, you. It's because it's because of the cloak yeah, uh, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the up to you though. I'm just thinking, what color is the cloak? Does it like does it like green? It's a greenish color. Or does color. it like adapt? It's uh, it's like the cloak. Adapt. It's the cloak of elven kind. It's called. Okay. I think it, that just gives advantage on it. It gives. Like it. Yeah, it says it gives um, advantage uh on stealth checks made to hide as okay. the close. Oh yeah, it does shift. It does shift. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Sure. Cool. It's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, and you kind of watch as emerging from these uh, the, the, the surrounding like shrubbery, these two large metallic bulls. Every time mm. they breathe, this 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 green vapor kind of comes out of the nose and just kind of evaporates. These creatures are um, very large, and instead of the normal fur you would expect with bulls, completely covered in metal scales going from like a from like a like a blackened iron all the all the way to to a more shiny silver uh, one on either side yeah one on either side yeah. and with that before we go into initiative i think we're gonna take our break here oh, oh. so bad so we'll take yeah. our break here thanks so much for uh watching the first half everybody we'll oh, be yeah. back thanks for the follows guys uh, metsug uh jorox thanks for the follows appreciate y'all um <clears throat> Let me quickly check if there happened to have been any charity donations. Uh, doesn't look doesn't. like it. Doesn't look like it. All right. Um, explain more charity, guys. Smile. We'll be back in like five to ten minutes to pick up the second half of this session. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. Uh, leave a follow if you are new. We are three followers away from 200. Please. Um, and we'll be right back. Alrighty. You just gotta believe. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. Hey, up, Laura. Hello, Laura Hello. I think you rolled higher than me every. Welcome. All right, we're Jurassic back. Up. So with that, as these two Finish metal bulls get closer and closer, and it, 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 at some point start to like rush towards you, I would like free will to roll initiative, please. Are First you time double real? digits, boys. My boy. Guys, I'm really upset. Oh, baby, no, did I actually beat I'm you in gonna initiative? die first. I rolled the natural one. Oh, no, I finally beat her. At least I'm not the lowest, her, then. I mean, I love... I'd rather roll it now than when I'm trying to hit the thing. So I guess True. it's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But you also have the same exact chance to roll it while hitting the thing. So. You're like 120 <laughs> feet away as well, so... 
I'm a hundred mm. feet away, and I can get there in one turn. It's uh, sure. She's just a bad. You're accident. about to have the other hand experience of All us right. killing everything. Initiatives of get. twenty or higher, please. Twenty-one. This I should be me every be fight, but I roll like Dookie. Twenty-one. That will never be me. <laughs> I've got a, I, I love Anyone having initiative bonus, guys. Anyone else twenty plus? Going once, going twice. All right. Um, fifteen to twenty. Sixteen. Seventeen. 17 oh for Sai. 16 for Elazren. 10 to 15. 11. 12. Damn, I almost beat 12, him. 12, 11 for... You have a minus natural three. Four. And Jack. Oh, I rolled a 13. Uh, 5 to 10? 8. <laughs> Koiba. 8. What did you roll, Laura? 4. I forget. One, every... 1 plus 3. I forget every time it's a negative for you. <laughs> yeah, dude, negative deck sucks okay. dick, bro. Just forget. Uh, <laughs> like, dude, my camera is laggy as fuck right now. Hold on, let me try and fix that real quick. Hell yeah, dude. It was in Discord. Yeah, it's oh, not my Discord. fucking camera. Say, hey, it hey, hey, oh, I fucking hate everyone. You know? <laughs> cool. Oh, no. Very cool. Very cool. These bulls are about to get more HP because Dutch is mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm laggy but for I might you be guys. Able, I might be able to fix it Discord, without fucking shit no. up. Give me a second. Give me but a second. But I am for me, so I think it's just a Discord issue. It's just a you thing. You think. Yeah, because you guys looked fine to me. Yeah, but I also see myself yeah. lag on the fucking stream overlay, which is why I'm like... Mm. Oh, fair enough. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Dutch be out here using filters, boys. I just guess. get two yeah. separate cameras and use one for stream and one for <laughs> Discord. I mean, I have two separate cameras, so I, in theory I could. <laughs> in theory I could. I'm still lagging on stream. Fuck it, dude. Whatever. So... These two metallic bulls, one approaching from the uh, southern side of the road, so to your left, and one approaching from the northern side of the road, uh, to your right. Um, and approaching fast. Brooks, you're up first. What do you do? How far away are these bulls? About 30 feet each. 30 feet either way? Yes. Uh, I'm I forgot, by the way, uh, Bell, Hawthorne, he goes on your turn, right? Um, I mean, he has a separate initiative. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't think you Which I just me. remembered about. Yeah, so roll that real quick. Um, six plus four, so ten. Ten? Mm-hmm. Ah, sorry, continue, Bean. I'm gonna do the dumb. Nice. I'm gonna... Uh, Bonus action, rage. Okay. I'm gonna move. Said it was 30 feet away? Correct. I'll move to the one. Oh, fuck you, no. Know, the one to the left. One to the left, sorry. Arbitrarily. Right. Yeah, so the southern. No, the one approaching from the south. Sure. Yeah, the southern one. Mm -hmm. Why not? Okay. And I'm gonna fucking hit it. And you notice, like, as you get close, it. like this, 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 this thing. Whether to call it a beast or a monstrosity, you're not sure. Um, it's quite large. It's definitely uh, like it towers. It towers over you, and uh, it, it's pretty big. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sign. I'm just debating. Uh, fuck. Do I hit it or do I thunder wave it? You do have that axe. That's true. I do have that axe. You do have that axe. What does that axe do? I see you, baby. Uh, <laughs> Checking that axe. I mean, yeah, it makes sense to do this when I rage because otherwise I'm going to have to use my action for it and then I'm not going to be able to punch things as a bonus action. So okay. I will thunder wave. All right, so you take It'll... out your, uh, your new hand axe and as you kind of swing with it and instead of swinging at or like swinging to hit the creature, you kind of instinctively swing the axe, and from the axe, this just <laughs> wave of, of, of just crackling thunder emits. Uh, does that involve a saving throw? Or is that a two hit thing for thunder wave? Saving throw, I think. Cause they, we, it's constitution uh, saving it's throw. constitution save. Con save. Oh, natural 18. Yeah, that makes it. Yeah. Half damage so or no damage? half no? damage. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's not all a waste. I mean, it's still 2d8, like... Oh, never mind. 
I rolled a one and a one, so Ooh. it takes one force damage. One That's thunder right. damage, sorry. What? One point of thunder damage. Uh, That's it, my boy! It seems to First blood. It off very, fairly easily, and just... You can see that every time it, it breathes out of its nose, there's this green, like, smoke. This green vapor... Um, appears, and then kind of just evaporates into the sky. You know what green means, guys? Do we? Poison. Obviously. So uh, I'm gonna <laughs> take a free action to cry. Very does. Okay. Uh, but that's my turn. All right. Sai, you're up next. Borgers. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast a Zephyr Strike. Ooh. Uh, which on one are you, or like, what is it, the wolf again? I, I forget. It makes me move like the wind. True. And it doesn't, basically, uh, I don't provoke any opportunity attacks. And right, I can, right, right. It lasts for a minute, and like, before the spell ends, I can give myself advantage on an attack that does extra damage. Nice, yeah. There you go. So, as, as Sai kind of starts moving around, you can see him even more like graceful than, than normal. Just kind of like really just f like flowing as if he is the wind himself in, in his movement. It's very elegant. And I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run to the one that Brooks is fighting. Okay. And just swing at it with uh, my scimitar. Go for it. Roll an attack. If I can find it. I need music. God damn. Oh, it's natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. Well, you're guaranteed to do more damage than there you me. Go. Now. First attack oh, roll yeah. of the character. Fucking Ooh. natural 20. There it is, dude. There it is. First roll, I actually roll for an actual dice, and it's natural 20. I should do that more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, how do I do this? Okay. So, yeah, it is just a D6. D&D Beyond. So, 5, 10, plus 4, 14. 14 points of damage. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. You strike at the uh, the metal ball uh, with one of your scimitars and manage to kind of slice like in between where a couple of the plates kind of meet and and you definitely you definitely draw blood so it is it is possible to okay. to, to hurt them and and get as, through the metal plating. Please. As as I swing and like hit it, you just hear uh, Brooks just hears just like a <laughs> Ooh. just Ooh. very Ooh. and and. Sai is just smiling, having a great time. All right. At we least someone is with us, guys. <laughs> better watch anything out. Else you want to do at least turn? someone's having a great time. Uh, Vincent, anything else you want to do with your turn? Um, nope. That's it. Right. That is my turn. That is your turn. He just sighs. Fair enough. He sighs. Yep. He sighs. The last <laughs> reaction. Uh, I will uh put up the 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 boo ball, the dome. Use my action to cast the twilight dome and. Michael Bublé. It comes out. Yeah, the All Michael right. Bublé comes out. Um, and then... I just haven't met you <laughs> yet. <laughs> um, how it's far... Quite the famous bard around in these parts. How far away is um, everyone else? Miguel Bublé. Bublé. Um, well, Daigon, Kess, they're all, they're are all 100 feet away. The rest of yeah. you, the rest of your friends are all within like 30 feet of you. Definitely. Can, I want to try and... Put myself so I'm just not in the way of the second ball that's charging. Just kind of like... Okay. But then also still get all the homies in the bubble. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. I can't. Yeah, I just don't want... Uh, and then I will, uh, as a bonus action, mm -hmm. cast a uh, spiritual weapon. Hell yeah. Um, um, where does your weapon appear? And uh, describe it again what it looks like. Just, uh, um, it looks like these two... You see this like very ornate and very over-the-top golden and jewel-encrusted nunchucks. That oh, just kind of starts spinning in place. Fancy. Hell yeah. Uh, where do they appear? And they will appear next to the ball that is charging that no one else has attacked yet. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, you can make uh, an attack with can... them, right? So that's, uh, yeah. As you guys spell. Them and I will. Uh, that is a uh, dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20 hits. Hell yeah. I said 30 for a second. I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, Switch weapons. Crunk. <laughs> Uh, oh, for 12 points of damage. As it just kind of spins damage. up low. You see it spin like impossibly fast as it like goes into hit. And just kind of... All right. Yeah, and as, as you strike uh, this this ball uh, and it kind of like dents one of the metal plates, you can definitely see like a, like a heavier breath of green vapor uh, 
appear out of the nose and uh, it starts to like kind of look around and just just does you know swipes his swipes his feet over over the over the ground and is is getting ready for for a charge. Oh. That'd turn? be my turn. Alrighty. Yeah, I like uh, it. Davian. Health back. Well, temporary. You're muted, Duke. You're muted. Yeah, okay, good. I didn't say anything worthwhile, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's at the end of my turn. It's at the end of my turn I get temporary HP, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's at the end of your turn. I got uh, five temp HP. There you go. Where, where are they? I'm, like, pretty much right next to Lazarin. Yeah. Uh, so there's one 30 feet to your north, coming out of yep. the, 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 the shrubbery, and there's one 30 feet to your south. And which are they already engaged with? Uh, the southern one is engaged by uh, Sai and Brooks. The northern one has uh, a Lazarin spiritual weapon floating next to it. Okay, I'm going to run 30 feet east. Towards the cart? Yep. Okay. Uh, and Onu is also going to descend 30 feet because he was 60 feet up. Uh, I'm going to Hunter's Mark, the one that Brooks is fighting. Okay. With my bonus action. Yes. Quickly mark off a spell slot real quick. And uh I yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a shot at that one. Go for it. They are fighting. Oh god. Oh god. Uh uh, uh t- 12, 12 to, to hit? Doesn't hit. As you fire your arrow, it just kind of ricochets off of the metal plates and it just ends up further in the woods. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be my turn. All right, uh, Jax. All right, I'm gonna. The north one is the one that's not occupied, right? Um, correct. Okay, I'm gonna move twenty feet towards that bull. Okay. And then. I'm going. Oh, is that to... Davian gets six hit points? Is that what that was, <laughs> Quiba? Right, got it. Um, and I'm I left going the dome. to. Oh, use you my... did leave the dome. I ran thirty feet away east. What's the what size of dome again, Quiba? Uh oh, that's it's thirty feet, I think. Yeah, he, he, so he's not in it anymore. He left. Uh, let me have a look. It's thirty foot radius, so it's sixty foot. <laughs> So I guess yeah, with that logic, feet around you. Yeah, he yeah, let he, he yeah. So it's where the Lazarin is, thirty feet in all directions from the Lazarin, and that's where that's where Davian was, and Davian went thirty feet east. So he technically would be on the edge and still able to have those benefits, technically. Okay. If we're being if we're being anal about it. If 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 DM says it's okay, yeah, then sure. you get six ten HP. Sorry, uh, Soko. Cool. No, you're good. Uh, I am going to use my bonus action defensive field. Okay. And three temporary hit points. Nice. Um, and with my action, I am going to uh, cast a magic missile, and you'll see the little missiles like pop out of my shoulders and fly at the fucking bolts. Uh, which one? North it's, or south? Uh, the north one, the one I ran towards. Okay, so the one that has only got the nunchucks floating by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Wait, I don't have to roll. What the hell am I doing? No, magic missile is a uh, guaranteed hit. I get to just roll the dice for mm-hmm. it. Uh, that's three At missiles, right? Three missiles, base level. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So your shoulders kind of open up, and three of these like magical darts of 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 colorful energy just shoot at the bull, and and just impact them, and kind of you can see some of the some of the some of the plates kind of dent and and take the impact. This is twelve points of force damage. Twelve points of force damage. Very good. Nice. And uh, that's my turn. Alrighty. Uh, with that, it is now the ma- the metal bull who is engaged with uh, Sai and Uh-oh. Brooks. It's turn. And it is going to take a deep breath and inhale. And just breathe out this large cloud of green vapor. And I would like um, Brooks and Sai to make constitution saving throws, please. Oh. Nice knowing you guys. Wait, is Jack's in the bubble? Ooh. Uh, he is. Tw- I moved 20 feet away, so yeah. 16. 16? 
Six. Six. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. You kind of feel your your muscles tighten for a little bit, but you 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 fight it off, uh, and don't um, stay in that in that in that state. Um. Fair enough. That's it. Get fucked, oh. Mister Bull. Um. <laughs> Sad Bull. Let's see, Hawthorne. Bell. Okay, I was muted. Uh, Hawthorne's gonna go and like shoot the one on the left. Okay. Sure. With his little crossbow. Mm. Would all your attack? Nah, <laughs> he does not hit. What did he roll? <laughs> I got a three. Yeah, no, that, that that like tiny little arrow that he shoots with his tiny little bow it goes to <laughs> fucking Narnia. <laughs> and once and I just got a splinter three times. Hey, at least he tried. You know, he tried. tried. You gotta hear him under his breath. God fucking damn it! <laughs> is that his turn? Yep. All right. Uh, it is not your turn, Kess. I'm going to bonus action hex the one on the left. Okay. Uh, so that one's now hexed and hunter's mark. So that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> it's also gonna have a disadvantage on strength based checks. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to move close enough so I can hit it with Eldritch Blast. Uh, yeah, sounds good. So you move about like 30 feet up like, towards mm -hmm. where the, the scrimmage is happening. Yeah. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Uh, 16? Does not hit, unfortunately. Your Eldritch Blast kind of just... just gets reflected by the metal plates and just impacts a nearby tree. Unfortunately. Tree ever do to you? That's it. That's it. Uh, the bull that uh, Jax has moved towards is going to... Wait, you moved 20 feet up? 20 feet. Yep. And you were 30 feet away from it in total, right? Because you were with the group? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, It is going to move 10 feet back. And then... Oh, charge! No. Trampling charge you. And just shoots 20 feet straight forward towards you. And hits, tries to hit you with, with, with his horns at the same time. Um, so... Uh, that is a... What is that? 17 to hit? Yeah, I think that hits an armor class of 12. I guess it does, yeah. Uh, and I also need to make a forever. strength saving throw. Fuck. I haven't gotten hit in so long. <laughs> uh, 19 on my strength save. Okay. Uh, you do take 16 points of piercing damage. As this two horn just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rolled max... I uh, one off max damage, so... Um, uh, but you do manage to kind of push it off of you before it forces you to go prone and removes his his horns out of your out of your body um okay. so there is that uh, and that is its turn Daigon, you're up oh, the one that just charged Jax because Jax moved 20 feet did he move 20 feet towards the cart so it's now no 80 feet no no he moved the other way he moved north and the uh, the cart just so that the... one's so that one's 120 feet from me and the other bull is 100 feet me. Uh, no, they're both 120 feet away still. Oh, gross. Okay. Pretty much. Well, I think I can still get there because if I combine Step of the Wind, which doubles, no, it allows me to take Dash as a bonus action, mm -hmm. double, and then Feline Agility, I can move 160 feet. So, okay. Then, yeah, you can I'm get gonna you can get do that. Spend a key point and Step of the Wind and just start running towards the one that charged Jax. And when I get Close, I want to kind of use the smaller end of my spear, almost like pole vault, stick it in the ground and like leap off to try and land the big pointy end in the bull's back. Go for it, roll attack. On it. Oh, baby, 28. That nice hits. Roll 19. That hits. Uh, spear is D8, because I'm two-handing it. Uh, eh. Seven, no. Yeah, seven points of piercing damage. Seven points of piercing damage? Hey, it's something. You managed to I'm land now the on its back. <laughs> tip of the spear right between, like, uh, to uh, the edge of two plates and just managed to drive yep. your spear in there. And as you pull it out, you can definitely see, like, a streak of blood. Kind oh, of, I don't want to of... pull it out yet. I want until oh. my next turn hold on for dear life, because I'm sure it's going to start yeah, sure. flailing yeah, around okay. and get yeah, me sure, off, sure, sure. So I'm just there. Is that your turn? That, yeah, that's my turn. Do I end in a Lazarus dome? Because of how uh, far Yes, you do. You do. Nice. Uh, you get. Oh, that's right. Six. I rolled 
Fucking nice. threes all the time, baby. Nice. Meloru. So six temporary right, that's HP. My Better turn. than once. Um, mm -hmm. Brooks, back to you. What do you do? I was the lowest of myself. Well, now I'm pissed off that I did one damage. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, so I'm gonna fucking whack this thing with my hatchet. Oh yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Thick Fuck this thing, thick then. metal plates, man. They, they got a lot of... You gotta That's get why to I used underneath. magic missiles, so I didn't have to hit. A lot of natural armor on these boys. I'm very happy with my natural 19. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action flurry of blows. Ooh. Monk shit, monk shit, monk shit. And given that the hand dice doesn't work, I'm just gonna look at it. And then I'm just gonna try and punch this thing in the face. Go for it. Oh. While you're rolling damage, point of order, I still would have hit. But I was using, looking at the other character, I only have a plus five, not a plus nine. I was okay. thinking about Halloween one shot, but it was still a 24 to hit, yeah, that so it still, still would have happened. That would have still hit. 21. 21 to hit? That hits. So that and is... having a plus 13 to hit. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, seven <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points of bludgeoning damage, all right. And then I'm going to fucking headbutt it. Oh, ooh, like in between the horns? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna uh, hold on to one of the horns and just fucking oh, yeah. go for it. He's doing he's doing gorilla yeah. shit. Dirty twenty. That hits. <clears throat> for another uh, seven points of oh, damage. damage. As you kind of like just just sheer anger and rage, go to headbutt the, uh, the, the 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 thick metal head of this bull. You definitely kind of. Might be a concussion later, but for now, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no thoughts, only rage. Yeah, exactly. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah. Sigh. Um, Anger Man gets six health. Anger Man gets six health. There you go. Six temporary health. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to attack the, the bull, and I'm going to use the uh, Zephyr's Strike thingy to give me advantage. Yeah. Hell yeah. And that is 17. 17 does not hit, unfortunately. No! Oh my god! 18 is 18. God damn it. Uh, I'll attack again as a bonus action, because I got two weapon fighting. Yeah, go for it. Nope, that's not going to hit. That's like a 12. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very just sorry. hear a bunch of, a bunch of, uh, so a bunch of scimitars just ding, hitting ding, there. Ding, just bouncing yeah. off of the metal plates, yeah. Unfortunate. Exactly. Unfortunate. Um, Clearly, weapons don't work. Just punch. Yeah. How far? <laughs> how far? Hey, my spear worked. That's true. That's true. How, how far is the other bowl away uh, from us? You are now. forty feet. Okay. Well, what I'll do is just wisp away from this bowl and go to the other one. Maybe I'll have yeah, better luck on him. Because of your Zephyr strike, you do not take Ex attacks of opportunity. So exactly. You just, you just That's awesome. Darts to the other one. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. And I get extra 30 foot move speed for when I use this uh, advantage attack thing. True. So I can make it to the other bowl. Absolutely. All right. And I just chill there. Sounds good. The last like, a gust of wind. like a Yo, gust of wind. Yo, you get, you get, guess what? You get six temp HP. I rolled three oh every God, fucking dude. time. Nice. Go Let's play go, baby. Nice. Uh, it's, I will move up my. You said the ball. You said the ball that my spiritual weapon attacked. Yeah. Uh, moved up twenty feet, right? Um, technically ten because he kind of met Jackson. Oh in the middle. well, even better because I'll just move my spiritual weapon up to it. As so a like bonus action, back and ten attack. feet to get the twenty feet distance between yep. him and Jackson. He needed to charge at him. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, use my bonus action to make my thing attack. Uh, and that year, uh, another dirty 20. That hits. Uh, four. Uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage. And then, like, how close are the two bulls to me, just in general? Just so uh, one like... is 20 feet away from you, the other one is 30 feet away from you. Oh, they're fucking miles away from me? M amazing news. Uh, then <laughs> I will, the one that I've been just hammering. Actually, seeing everyone miss it. I will cast a uh, bless. Okay. On uh, 
everyone's basically anyone who's in the dome. I can do three people. Mm -hmm. So Brooks is going to get it. Uh, uh, RBB. Digon. Yeah. And um, Psy. Okay. So you get an extra nice. D four with your attack rolls and saving throws. There you Lattering go. Hits checks confirmed. <clears throat> he does. No, great. They all throw multiple attacks. Attack. There's not but much point in blessing the man oh, I mean, who does like. I mean, in, minus in, two to hit. In, in, oh, the, motherfucker, I'll beat yeah. your ass. It's more like in Lazarus' mind, you're you know, more of a, you like, hit him. <laughs> you're like a spell caster rather than, like, yeah. hit boy, so Lazarus wants to you get You have to him, explain like, yourself, Quiba. Sokka is just being a little bitch. Guys, guess what? 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 I can finally use... I always forget I have them, but I remember today. My bless tokens that remind me what bless mm. does. So nice. I can there you go. Just like bless. <laughs> when you said bless tokens, uh, I was thinking like Christian, like camp, like bless. Oh, you're, you're, talking, some, right? you're, you're talking to the pagan here. No, no, no. I know. That's and why that I, was really fucking funny. And I rolled myself HP, not three, two, because that's what I rolled last time as well. So I, I'm Good still job. on five. Good job. Mm. No, you broke the streak. All right. So that's Elazarin's turn. Davian. Uh, with Onu now 30 feet above the one that I hunts marked, I... Onu is gonna swoop down to shred him. Mm. You know, you know, he's cursed to miss. And this is gonna be a running theme for the rest of the campaign where I'm just gonna no. shit on Bud Onu. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he Not didn't miss! Yay! You traumatized him into he... success. He lives Wait, to fight another another attack is my spell attack modifier, which is a. Four, so it's a 21 to hit. That hits. Uh, four. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> One, four. Wait, is proficiency bonus two or three now? Two. 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 Three and Six no points. Five. Six points of slashing damage. Six points of slashing damage. And then he will fly Some... back up, obviously, without... Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. So Ono enough. just swoops down and just with his um, what what kind of attack is it? It's just called shred, fucking. So like I don't with, know. With, with his with his anything just, and everything just, he's got to offer. Yeah, I guess so. It just kind of harasses this 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 bull and and just kind of clamors at it before flying directly back up where it came from. And uh... oh. No, uh, mm, I, mm, oh, hold on. I'm going to have a look at my fancy arrows real quick. I was just going to okay. shoot normally, but now I'm thinking... You do got some fancy know, arrows. Let's, let's mm -hmm. miss with a uh, <laughs> fire ar arrow. Sure. Instead. You're going to start a forest fight. We're in the middle of a road. We didn't start the fight. <laughs> there are oh, literally yeah, bushes yeah, 30 feet away. Mm, yeah, that's... Uh, Smokey's going to be so I mad. I think that's a 16 to hit. 16? Yeah. It does not hit, unfortunately. As the arrow kind of <laughs> shatters onto the floor the fire safety next to there. it. And like the small little like oil that the reserve that was in the arrow catches fire and just kind of fizzles out like on the, on the, on the road. Great. Only you can start forest fires. Is that your turn? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to run another 30 feet towards the cart. Okay. Fair enough. Right but away. You are now outside of the dome, so you won't get that, that like, refreshed. Do I keep refreshed. my current ones, though? Yes, yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, that's fine. Keep the current one indefinitely. It does not have a time limit off. All right. Oh, nice. Um, Jax. All right. Um, get that hurt. I'm going to... Punch it back. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Go on, lads. I use my thunder gauntlet Oof. to oh, hit it for 19. Just hits. I don't get electrocuted by Fuck proxy, yeah. right? Because I'm on top. No, no, you can't. Nah, no, no, no. <laughs> that would suck. It's thunder, not electricity. True. Same difference. Yes. I, I thought so. Technically, thunder is the sound. Thunder is the sound. Just hits. Oh. Could suit that do. does eight damage. Eight, eight, eight damage? thunder damage. All right. Nice. And then Anything for else? my bonus action, Ooh. I'm gonna cast Sanctuary. And Ooh. as I do, I like drop this box that like just sits there for a second, and then it expands into like this little bubble around me. Nice. A little, little pretty it's blue like, bubble. Damn. What does Sanctuary do again? Exactly? I haven't seen it. Uh, if it tries to hit me, it has to make a Wisdom saving throw. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Alrighty, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be my turn. 
Okay. The boar that has now only got Brooks in his melee because Sai fucked off. <laughs> oh, Jax. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Is going <laughs> to... Nope. It's not bad in the way. be fine. You get, well, you get... Five zero. HP. Oh, fine. Is going to uh, multi-attack. Oh, is, is it? Yes. It I is. wonder who it's going to target. Oh, actually, it's going to see if it gets his breath weapon back. Hold on. Even better. It does, but I don't <laughs> oh, think he's going to use shit. it. He's not going to use it. What do you mean? He's not going to use it on me when I'm blessed and yeah. I succeeded already? He's going to instead, uh, you've heard it a little bit, you've kind of dented some of his armor plates. He's just going to try and first, like, just attack you with his hooves and then try and gore you once more uh, once again we'll try to oh, dude he's oh, pretty much the dead bodies uh, on the hoof attack is a 23 to hit yeah the gore you have to ask is also we're a level three. Also a 23 to hit because i rolled the same which it, we're it level three hit. why do you ask it, it yeah, almost I, and i am supposed to ask these things Go fuck yourself. And for anyone, if we ever get to the point where anyone cares enough to like track our dice rolls and do statistics and how often oh my God. Th this first character gets hit, this character doesn't get hit. Blah, 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 um, I nerds out the. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I rolled, in the I rolled almost max on both dice. You're raging. Oh, You're raging, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, 31, thankfully. 31 points of damage, <laughs> halved to 15 because you're raging. That would have okay. close to the party. I would have yeah. survived 31. I literally rolled one under max. I would have survived I rolled max 31. on the one roll. Me and you were the one only ones that the other roll. So, like, my damage rolls have just been... However, a little upset with Sai. <laughs> I would have died. He's not your friend. He doesn't know you. He like, abandoned me. He's here to do uh, a you job. You abandoned me. You know? okay, that's like the, my parents. Uh, but he's helping turn. me. Hawthorne. You look perfectly capable. He's going to shoot again and see if this time he hits. The one, on the, nope. the, the one that he tried to hit before? Yeah. Okay. So little <laughs> Watch him now one and shoot me. <laughs> and I got a six, so he's doubling in his rolls. But nice. <laughs> that's about it. I, he'll, he'll go he next like, shoots again and he sees the arrow just like fall flat. And he just kind of looks back to where you are. And like telepathically tells you, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, he's throwing on purpose so that he doesn't that have to fight anymore. Turn. I want to go Kess. have a nap. Let me back in the vest. Guess okay. it's your turn. I'm going to Eldritch Blast the one on the left again. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, 21 to hit. That hits. <sighs> nice. Okay, six force damage. Okay. Um, five psychic or necrotic damage, even. Okay. And uh, two thunder. Two thunder. All righty. Three types of damage, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Anything else with That's your turn? That's it. All nope. Right. Um, the bull that has a Daigon on top of it and a uh, Jax in front of it is going to. Um, Karm. Daigon. Mm -hmm. Make a strength saving throw. Don't forget to add your d4. Oh, yeah. I was hoping to... oh. She wins these, though. If you'd waited one more turn, I was going to pop the arms out, and then I could use my wisdom and stags. <laughs> my spectral arms can hold on to the bull for dear life, and that was the plan. <laughs> Oh, 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 natural 19 on the D20, one in the D4, 20 plus two, 22. Okay, like it tries to, it tries to kind of like instinctively shake you off, but uh, when he notices that he, he's failing at doing that, he's just going to try and, and hoof attack Jax. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm here yes, to it hits. help. Yes, it hits, it hits, it hits. It's yeah, fine. I rolled exactly 12, which is just your AC, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I have no armor uh, and I But you get, are uh, sanctuaried, so does he need to make a so wisdom? That's a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. Uh, 16? Yeah, okay, it hits me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Uh, you take uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. It's one of the hooves. Just, that's clap, fine. just Pussy shit. clobbers you on the side of the head. Okay. So I get myself get out of bed every morning. 
Uh, Daigon, you're up. All right. So now, because he tried to shake me off, and I'm like, I want to stay up here. I'm going to bamf out the spectral arms. Oh, yeah? Another key point. So my panther fur arms appear. He needs to make it. The bull needs to make a dexterity save. Is the other bull within 10 feet no. as well or no? Okay, just this one. Oh, uh, a dex? What was that for save? Is that dex? Dex, yes. Six. He fails. He takes... Where is my... Hold on. He takes five points of force damage because okay. the arms freak him out. Right. And then the spectral arms just gonna grip on while I take my other arms and just take the spear out and try and just shove it back in. Go for it. The stab again. That's let's not roll a d6 to attack Laura. That's a bad plan. <laughs> Can guarantee uh, you if you use a d6 oh. to roll your attack, you're never gonna hit. <laughs> that rolled off the tray. Okay. Oh my god. I don't even need that. That's three natural 19s in a row. Another natural 19 plus Hell three yeah. from the t4 plus five. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. 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 Uh, seven points of piercing damage seven points of piercing damage you get the uh oh wait 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 hold on no it's a d8 not a d6 because i'm two-handing the spear okay that's worse five points of piercing damage nice you just (laughs) kept it i should have just kept (laughs) all right oh well is that your turn yeah because bonus action and i don't want to use my movement because now i get my feline agility back next turn if i don't move all right. Whoa. I stay on its back. Do you know what you do get though? You get nine temp HP. Ooh, okay. Damn. Okay, so he likes fucking Dagon more than us. Um, Brooks. Dagon didn't say anything to hurt me. Uh, Corey, but how many <laughs> temp did I get on my la- end of my last turn? Oh, you got uh, you, you got six. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. I hate everything. <laughs> I'm a scat man. Okay, no, I did. I was making sure uh, that I, I these took that bulls, from the damage I took. Uh, as of like at the end of last round, are both look bloody now. Good. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with my hand. Three of the same rolls in a row is a point zero one two five percent chance to happen. Thank you for our, our fact, man. Uh, There's our math nerd. Reporting, reporting in the fi- from from the field. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm a fact man. Uh, hand axe is a quick, nineteen. Sorry. I'm hitting it with my hand axe. Nineteen to it hit. It is a nineteen to hit. Just hits. Did you use your D4 anyways for the miles? I didn't, but uh, do 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 do. Uh, for eight points of slashing damage. Eight points of slashing damage. And then, because I hate this thing, I'm going to flurry of blows again. Go for it. Uh, first one, I'm just going to try and knee it in the jaw. Okay. Uh, it's fucking low, like a 10. No. You kind of like try and like hit it with your knee, but it kind of just like jumps away and it immediately positions himself back. Uh, you well, shit, I'm going to go with what worked last time. I'm going to grab onto one of the horns. <laughs> And he fucking headbutt it. That's a fucking concussion, bro. <laughs> uh, that is 100%. a 23. That hits. Oh my god. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag roll for brain damage. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> You're going to get dementia in like 20 years time. Uh, that's 8 <laughs> points of bludgeoning if damage. He's lucky. 8 points of bludgeoning oh. damage? Alright. Very good. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. How much Yo. do I get, Koiba? 4. Hey, that 6 and 4 might keep me alive. I mean, don't stack. They don't stack. No, it's uh, the high. No, I lost the there. six. Oh, you did. Oh, true. Okay. Because I got the shit kicked out. Oh, you did. You get the shit kicked out. Yeah, that's true. Going got fucked. Uh, Sai. So you are now oh, gonna... uh, adjacent to the other bull. What are you yep. Doing? I'm going to attack it twice. Go for it. Hopefully. Uh, oh god. Oh yeah, it's dirty twenty. That hits. So that's. Six damage, six and then for the second. The nope, second tax a natural too, so mm, nope. Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna hit. Sorry, bud. Uh, all right. Anything else we do with your turn? Um, nope. I'll stay there. Okay, okay. He gets Free nine ten nine ten HP. Oh. Yeah. So the way this works, uh, Vincent is um. Koiba gets a re-roll. Everyone's temp HP that's in the dome every turn, so uh, it replaces if it was if your oh. previous temp HP that you got was lower. Um, it doesn't stack though, so like it, you could just get you, your nine temp HP replaces the what you had before. Yep, doesn't it doesn't Sounds add good. to it? 
That's awesome. Oh, if I just took this would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah. more than it already is. It's already. Like, it's, for, it's, for already a level, it's already pretty fucking. It's already good. pretty fucking busted. Like, and then the if what's it's the max stacked, HP you can give with that right now? Nine. Oh, nine nine max. That's still that's. It, it goes it up. Go, every it goes level. up a level every time I level up. It goes up by one, obviously. So that's, pretty that's, yeah, that's pretty nuts. That's so awesome. in the end, I could give up to twenty-six temp HP. <laughs> every turn. Every turn. Uh, okay, yeah. What is it? A D six plus your level. D six plus level. level. That's yeah. pretty nuts. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking. Right. It's like a level three cure wounds every le level at level twenty. Yeah. Um, Elazrin. That me. Um, my uh, <laughs> my nunchucks are gonna, you know, spin up and. <laughs> Miss. What's your so, roll? So, yeah. It's like a 12. Yeah, it doesn't hit. <laughs> and then I'm going to have an action. Uh, do I burn through more spell slots? Because Lamau. Because yes. uh, you said yes, I don't want to anymore. Fuck. I kind of don't have anything really to use anyways. So I'm just going to fucking Secret Flame the one that I've been... Your uh, spiritual yeah. weapon has been wailing on? Yeah. Deck save plus... Six. Oh, it gets it gets flamified. Four. Four points of damage. Hey, it's no hey. time. It is crazy how like equal these guys are taking damage. It's kinda nuts. So it's like it's like you're you're a fuck fighting a fighting a raid boss, so you're like, we have to kill these guys at the same time or else we're gonna fucking. I mean how much HP do they that. have? Huh? Billion. Oh, that Around a billion. I'm just surprised by how like <laughs> Accidentally coordinated this fight is because they're, what do doing, you mean? they're keeping it like a very equal HP level. Why are you yeah, we're doing that, on purpose. that we're just so good at the game? Shut the fuck yeah. up. So good at D and D. I get D and Ders. The one that I have hunted. Marked, I shoot with a normal arrow. Normal arrow. And that's uh 15 hit, so never mind. And then <laughs> Bird's gonna swoop down. And that is that. That does. It. He's gonna be giving me a fucking talking to this one. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's like a twenty-three to hit for. That does hit, Onu. yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you hitting? Oh, how the <laughs> turns <laughs> the Minimum damage though, so fucking Still more than one plus three plus two. Hold on, one d four plus three. Yeah, plus two. So six points of damage again. Slashing damage. Okay. As Onu dives down and then immediately dives back up after striking this bull. Is that your turn? Uh, yep. Jack again. Onu is the bird that he doesn't deserve. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just glad it's down I... to shit. That bitch, I will fuck you up. Um, One? Doesn't really help, does it? I'm just gonna punch <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a two handed little bonk on his head. Just mm, the top yeah. of his head. Okay. Fuck that bitch. That's, That's gonna hands. hit probably. You know, <laughs> a little know. little twenty three. Yeah. Who are you? What are you double jacks? <laughs> uh, I have a plus six to hit now that I have. Who the fuck are you? What are you double jack? <laughs> I've had this since like, we turned level three, motherfucker. I don't know why this is a surprise. No, you haven't been here for like half of those Nobody sessions. Different. True. <laughs> that was actually a good point. Uh, 11 points of thunder damage. 11 points of thunder damage. Okay. See, well, now we're talking. That's the damage We're just doing numbers. big gong bonks, you know? Hell yeah. And then... The uh, gong bonk. <laughs> gong bonk, dude. <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, and then I'm going to cast sanctuary myself again, because... Go for it. Fuck this bull. So... Force bullshit. Out, <laughs> um, yeah, he really right. doesn't like you. The uh, bull <laughs> that has seven temp HP jacks. Oh, yeah. the bull that has brooks adjacent to him is going to just try and gore the fuck out of you, buddy. No, it's not. Bye, Brooks. Oh, Have fun. Natural eighteen. Uh, yeah, that so hits. That makes it a uh, twenty-six. Yeah, hit. that hits. They have a plus eight. Goddamn. That that's the damage rolls I'm used to. There they are. Uh, Twelve points of piercing damage, half to six because you're raging. Um, sorry, I only take two. Cool. Huh? Oh, because it's damage. Lazarin. Right, 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 right. Oh. Uh, okay, that's its turn. Uh, Hawthorn. Oh. Le -le -le -le. Oh, oh, me. Sorry. Yeah, Hawthorn. <laughs> Time to miss another arrow. <laughs> I got distracted by Duke's terrible jokes. Um, 
Could be worse. Um, Hawthorne's just gonna try and shoot it again. Yeah, go for it. Seven! So, like, ten. Hawthorne looks at you <laughs> and just... Please, get me out of here. <laughs> to be fair, he is improving. I want off this <laughs> ride. He, he's popular every time. Why the fuck I love Hawthorne so much? Um... Uh, now it's your turn, I guess. <laughs> that was my turn, so I'm just yeah. gonna Eldritch Blast. To be fair, he's had as much luck as I have, so... True. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, 18. Dozen hits. <gasps> That's fucked. 19. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. just misses. As, um, again, the, the Eldritch Blast just ricochets off of its back and just... Poof, impacts another tree. You're doing more damage to the forest tree at this point than you, you have done to the creature itself. That's the wrong fucking people, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, these th these guys are, are pretty tanky. Pretty, pretty fucking tanky. I hate them. Um, they have giant robot bulls, so... Seems legit. Uh, let's Not see. Robot. The other creature that now has Psy, Jax, and a Daigon just on top of it. Is going to ignore Daigon, because Daigon is uh -huh. on top of it. And uh -oh. it's going to take a deep breath, and this cloud of green vapor just yeah, encloses um, Jax and uh, uh, Sai. And technically a Lazarin, I think. Oh, fuck! Because it's a 30 foot cone. I'm pretty sure. That's cringe as right? fuck. I, I, I'm like within basically like. 30 f I'm like 30 foot between, so yeah, if yeah, it's so it'll, any it'll, sort it'll just, yeah. Yeah, so like I'm on I the edge of the code. You three to make a constitution saving throw. Oh! 19. Uh, do you get an extra d4, uh, Sai? Oh, fuck yeah. I don't. Yes, I need it. Den? Uh, I, got, I got a 19. 19? So. Den. 10? Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. 17. 17? You two are fine, but Elazarin, you start to feel your muscles cramp up, and you can see parts of your body are beginning to petrify. Uh-oh. We don't have things to fix that! He's the clear- he's the one who would fix that! Uh, you're not petrified yet, but the process has started. Have fun. Bye. Um, that is its turn. Daigon. Okay. Um... Manage we're... spells. Let's just see what's in my spell list. This man's we're... rock hard. But even if you have it, if you haven't prepared it. I know, but I, like, I still just uh... want to see if I would have had anything. Nope, is the answer. No lesser no greater. That's level three. No, three no, three. Three. <laughs> oh, no. No, um, Daigon, okay, it's your turn. Um, yeah, I'll, same thing. We'll go for it. With the, the plan's working, again. boys. Uh, well, my spectral arms. Hold on. That is... Uh, even without the d4, that's a 21 to hit. That hits. So I'm not going to even roll the d4. Uh, yo. That's nine points of piercing damage with the spear. Nine points of piercing damage, very nice. And I'm now concerned um, for Lazarin. I want these people to just get the fuck out of the way. Burning the last key point for a flurry of blows okay. with the spectral arms. Um, this affect my concentration tool sorry dutch oh. um right now you're technically restrained uh i don't think restraint no, affects it, no, concentration. concentration for this spell. oh yeah i don't blows. think restraint affects you in that no because you didn't take damage, right. damage for my flurry of blows oh boy um one of them is a dirty 20 to hit it hits and the other one even with a d4 is not because that's a no one's a 14 to hit nope. All right. Does need um, What's my martial arts die right now? Is it still a d4? Ah, it's lame. Should be, I think. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, so that's five points of force damage from the one spectral arm punch okay. that I land. I'm just not making a punch this plate. It's more like I'm ripping at the the plated armor with my spectral arms, like clawing Sounds good. It, Sounds good. It. Okay, Brooks, you're up again. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> I mean, shit. Same. <laughs> what do we do in this situation? I can't do anything to save a Lazarin. You don't know what's happening to you me. You've not seen Lazarin. me. No one, is, no one has actually seen me yeah. be hit by this, apart from Kess. 
And even then... I saw because you were in the cone oh, of... Yeah, I'm yeah. on the... the, the like, yeah, you're in the cone. So I, start, I saw <laughs> yeah, you, like, inhale the gas. But you don't know like, what yes. is happening to him. What's happening to me? You know what's happening to me. He's just got a little stiff, but he's not petrified. He's just got a little stiff. I just saw him inhale the gas and look rough, so I'm bored. Well, I can't do shit whether I know or not. True. So I'm gonna default to what I'm best at. Headbutting well, with, with a hand axe. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, well. That's fucking not that bad, actually. Uh, fucking uh, 21. It's. Hand axe is D6. Bam, bam. So 11 points Ooh, okay. of slashing damage, max damage, baby. Okay, okay. And then I am out of key points. So Same. I will just bonus action. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to one of its horns and I'm gonna try and punch it in the eye. Okay. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Uh the fucking Light. bless might have saved me. Uh 21. That hits. <clears throat> Otherwise it would have been a 17, which I think doesn't hit. Correct. And then I roll a 1 on the d4, so <laughs> 6 points of bludgeoning damage. You need more brain damage. Alright. Uh, both of these guys are starting to look pretty fucking rough. Um, anything else you want to do with your turn, uh, Brooks? Uh, there's not much I can do. I'll stay where I am. Okie dokie. Sigh. Alright, I'm going to wisp oh, for... uh, around this dude that I'm next to. Brooks. Okay. And... Uh, attack it with my scimitar. Go for it. That is uh, 19 plus 221. That hits. Ugh. Five damage. That and then, something. then I'll attack it again. And every time, between every attack, I'm basically just like wisping around it, just uh, slicing it from different angles. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, 16. So 22. That hits. Second attack. I don't get the modifier, I think. So it's just five damage. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's. I think if I do it the bonus action, I don't get to uh, add the damage to the to the attack itself. Oh, the modifier. It oh, right. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. But yeah, so five more damage. All right. Hey, I mean, shit. It's uh, it's starting to look very fucking rough. Let me tell you, it is not doing too good. Elazrin. Are you still on full health, um, um, Vincent? For yep. your you're not going to yep. say I won't roll it because you got max, so there's no point in me rolling it. Okay. Do I feel stuff happening to me? Um, you are restrained. You can feel that you are your I'm movement still is impaired, zero, and you yeah. can see that on some parts of your body. It's okay. In the beginning process of, of um, petrification. I will start to panic, and I will <laughs> cast uh, level two bless. So I'll keep I the will. same people I had blessed. Okay. But then also bless myself. Okay. And I'll just call out help. I'll just be like, uh, uh, help! Oh, then... dear. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Is that your turn? I need you yeah. to make another uh, constitution save. Oh, no. Come on, Koiba, don't die, please. Well, maybe we do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're in the mood for. If he does die, it would mean that Kesten, like, no mean I'm not the, first the focus one dead. of the group. 13. 13? Yeah. Oh, no. 13 was the DC. Oh! Wow. You oh. kind of... In this, I'm so like, glad in this, in this, like, moment of, of panic, <laughs> shoot a prayer, like, just, like, inside your head to Joaquin and feel empowered. And you, you kind of just shake your arms and the part of your, your arms and your legs that, that, that were starting to petrify... You kind of manage to break through it. You're no longer restrained. You, uh, we you say this. I rolled. That, that was the final I, chance to get, uh, get out from under oh it. Or else I rolled an play. eight on the d20. I have plus one, and I rolled a four on the bless. <laughs> oh, so the shit, bless dude. coming in clutch. The bless literally oh, came save in clutch. Yourself. No. I, <laughs> or else you would have been petrified. Oh, I would have been. big brain play <laughs> right there. <laughs> the same thing I could fucking do. I was like, enhanced ability's not going to help here. <laughs> could have done, actually. Could you? And I was like, uh, oh, never mind. I, 
I'm, I was panicking. I was gonna use my spiritual weapon, but I was panicking, so fuck, I was gonna okay. do that. Yeah, fair. Uh, but you are no longer under the threat of being petrified, so good job. Good job, you. Mm -hmm. um, Davian. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, no, I guess I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Opium. That one incoming. If it is, uh, just it's, hate uh, twelve to hit. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Odin. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, twenty-three to hit. <laughs> you know what this is? God, this right. is just pure karma for you oh giving Odin shit. I was what you fire. get. Natural like, five right, for me and natural turn. nineteen for Onu, and now he's gonna roll a one for damage again, and this is just gonna be the most pitiful outing <laughs> for my ranger of all time. He rolled a four. Hey. He rolled back damage. Woo! He does nine points of slashing damage. Hell yeah, dude! As your arrow once again flies over into the shrubbery, uh, Onu swoops down I'm not again. Yes, and speak to an also. <laughs> 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 uh, Odin swoops down again and, and deals some more damage to the bull and flies back up. Uh, Jax. <clears throat> um, I'll be honest, I did not expect to have this turn. <laughs> um, I just figured I'd be dead by now. Uh, I'm gonna punch it. Fuck, I guess my sanctuary. Oh well. Uh, 14 plus 6 is 1320. That hits. Four. Ten points of thunder damage. Ten points of thunder damage. All right. Not bad. And then I think that's all I really need to do. I okay. Have any other bonus actions? Yeah. That's it. Um. All right. Brooks. As this bull that you're up against inhales and lets out this cone of of, of green vapor. 30 feet that I... Me again, right? Yes. Didn't we say that was in the yeah. crossfire? Yeah. So you as well, Elazarin. Uh, both Brooks and Elazarin. Uh, constitution uh -oh. saving throws. You're blessed. It's fine. Uh oh. You are blessed. Oh, I should be fine. 12. You are blessed. 12? Oh, oh no. 18. No. 18. Brooks, you're fine. Elazarin, you feel your muscles tighten up again. Not again. God fucking damn it. Your, your muscles are starting to tighten again. And it's you did, did, man, this is the worst cramp of my life. <laughs> <laughs> did you go swimming uh, after you ate, bro? That's its turn. Uh, I pushed uh, Hawthorne and kiss. You know when you run too hard and knack at him. <laughs> no, dude, that's probably it's the day after the exercise, right? Is this yeah. not the? Is this not one of those things where you resist it once, you're good? Nope. No? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. Nope. Uh, Hawthorne is going to try and shoot it again. Hawthorne. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can do it. Is it a nine this time? Thirteen. It's a natural one. <laughs> Is this where I get really? shot by Hawthorne? Please <laughs> kill me. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, he just actually, turns the ball on himself, hold dude. On. Ethan, what's your AC? Uh, sixteen. What's Hawthorne's to hit modifier, Bell? Um, wait. Let me let me flip to it. Against Ethan plus Sylvian. <laughs> Uh, the one damage isn't the problem, it's the poison. Uh, plus four. Plus four? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brooks, you feel this slight prick in your ass oh, as I this go. tiny arrow just... <laughs> uh, so you take one point of piercing damage. Uh, what's the saving throw again for uh, for that? Oh, oh my god. It's like, you have to roll like a Natural 20. Natural 20. So you're not, you know, <laughs> Hawthorne didn't poison you, but he definitely like pin pricked you in the ass with one of his arrows. Jesus. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Having a bad day. Of all the days where your companion could shoot me. Yeah, he's already pissed at you. Oh my god. Hey, don't take it out on her. It's my bad. Okay, it's, a... <laughs> it's not all there today. Actually. I don't know. Um, guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna alter it blast again. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll hit me. Okay. <laughs> Please uh, 19. That just hits. Oh, fuck. Okay. Nine force damage. Mm -hmm. Nine? Oops. No. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Necrotic <laughs> and two thunder. Alrighty. Oh, this guy's on his last legs. 
Um, okay. With that, the bull in front of Sai and uh, Jax, under Daigon, I guess. I'm gonna see if he gets his breath back. He does not. Good. So he's going oh, to the two of them. again. He was the one to the fact that two of them to just get petrified. Hang on. <laughs> um, is going to try and gore you, Sai, because you're being pretty fucking annoying. Come at me. I'm gonna uh, use my. Is he considered a large creature? Yes, he is. Because I get to attack him as a reaction. Oh, true. Ooh. Oh shit. True, true, true. Potter. Twenty-four to hit. Oh, Potter. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. Do you get that'll... to react yeah. after he hits you or before? Let me. Let me tell you that right away. Uh, oh, hits or misses it. you with an attack, you can use your reaction to attack that creature okay, immediately so that after. After he hits immediately the, uh, after okay, his yeah, attack. Okay. So, so hopefully he doesn't kill you, smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> would be pretty don't important. That. Uh, oh, you no. take fourteen points of piercing damage okay. as he okay. goes to like gore you. I'm but so you now good. you now do get to react <laughs> and uh, try and. Uh, Yes. Swipe it back with one of your scimitars. A natural 18 plus 6. Ooh, so that hits. Oh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do so much damage to him. It's going to be great. 8 damage. Hey man, 8 damage. Hit the trick as you oh, hey! stab it hey! oh, hey! 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 between two of the plates. It immediately just <laughs> crashes to the ground. Um, kind of the, the, the green vapor from its nose, slowly dissipating until it stops breathing. Um, with Daigon just still on top of it. <laughs> yep, he's like, oh god. All right, so and I'll wisp, I'll wisp away to the other one. Okay, go for it. Um, oh, that's it. That's, that's its turn. turn. Daigon. Uh, well, this one's dead now. Mm -hmm. How how far away is the other one? 30 20 plus feet, 20, 50 feet. Oh. Right. Um... I can use my feline agility and run over to him because I haven't moved because I've been mm -hmm. on the bull for multiple turns. Uh, I'm going to do that. And same as the other one. going to do a running leap and try and just wedge my big old spear in its side. Go for it. Uh, bless. Save me. No, it's not good. Ah, wait, it's fine. Uh, 19 total. That just hits. To hit. Yeah, the bless with that one more of the D4 <laughs> coming in clutch. And that's eight points of piercing damage. And with that, you hey! also finish off this bull. Um, and before we do anything else... Mm -hmm. Oh no, Koiva! The Lazarin. Yep. Oh no. Yep. Constitution saving throw, please. Hey, die. You're blessed. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. Oh, what dice? What dice to me? <laughs> the one that doesn't fuck you. That's all of them! <laughs> the one that fucks you gently. This is what I'm feeling good about. Okay, this one. A D4. Oh, that's good. Uh, 15. <laughs> oh, thank God. 15? I rolled a 13 on the dice. I was like, <gasps> Okay. Again, once, once more, 15. you managed to fight off any effects Jesus of, of petrification. Christ. That got close, twice. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's pounding. <laughs> As these two metallic balls now lay on the ground, lifeless. Petrification doesn't mean death. He would have been fine it eventually. It would have taken a long time. If we were found a way it. to get him good. Which have to like, go carrying back him. He would have run into someone. You just got Wait, back Eldalon. Didn't we have... The whole other side quest. <laughs> Oh no, we your, have your character's no, petrification is granted as a side quest. Oh dearie me. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, thanks guys. <clears throat> so, with that, combat settles. The cause of death of these traitors. Pretty safe bet that it had something to do with these two metallic bulls. No, there's still something else out there. <laughs> it's something where the great big problem um, is. What do you guys do? <laughs> Uh, I just kind of take heavy Giant breaths. Dad, just like, I look fine. Mm -hmm. I look like completely fine. But I just take, like, big breaths, like... <sighs> what the fuck were those things, huh? Spit out God. some blood. And Davin, okay. have you ever seen one of these before? I don't... Have I ever seen one of these things before? Make a nature check. Make a nature check. And, uh, I'm going to say that, Sai, you can also make a nature check. 
Oh, hell yeah. Pause champ. 19. 19. 19. 19. The both of you know that these creatures oh, are known cute. as Gorgons. Their uh, origination, not much known about, but these metallic bulls live in areas either underground or in tropical uh, climates. Um, you know that these are omnivorous and typically when in a fight use their green petrifying breath to uh, petrify their foes and then walk away or if that doesn't work they like to gore them and uh, get rid of their, their threat the threats that way um, you also know that um, they are aggressive creatures by nature uh, that attack pretty much anyone on site um there's no real way to calm them. Uh, they are impossible to, to domesticate because technically they do look like beasts, but make no mistake, these are monsters. And I communicate that all to everyone in the party. Yeah, I would have also in climbed In to... part with Sai. It's yeah. like a little... It's like a little, yeah. little, little joint. Like, like tip presentation. <laughs> Yeah, got a, we got a poster and everything. <laughs> yeah, there's got a PowerPoint ready. Charge. Well, petrification explains what's happening to me then. At least we know where the horn marks came from. Mm. Especially these ones. I'll go up to him like, they're there, and put, I'll cure wounds him. Fear. Big baby. Oh, <laughs> I, this would have killed most of you, so. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't have killed me. Yeah, I'm so cool, dude. Uh, for eleven, <laughs> the healing. Eleven. No that takes me uh, nice. bang on back to max. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll kind of look at them like, bloody hell. Whew, that was. Was that the one who got affected by? It? Did anyone feel the? Uh... I think no, it's it it pretty you. mundane. I managed to shrug it off, but I, you know, it was it was there. It, Oh, fantastic news. I, <laughs> I've, I recovered from it twice. Fantastic I just want to go sit on top of the one I killed, looking pretty, pretty proud. Can I? I'm going to go find Hawthorne and give him back his arrow. Since I'd already run something like 60 feet towards the cart in that fight, I'll just go over to the cart and get it ready to go again. Okay. When um, Brooks goes over to Hawthorne with the arrow, I'm going to get Hawthorne to like just touch him at some point and cast Heart Sight. Um, <laughs> just for that? fun. What does that do? Okay. Uh, he now uh, Im magically knows his emotional state. Okay. And okay. if you fail a DC 10 Charisma save, he also knows your alignment. Okay. Oh. Charisma save. Yep. Uh, that's a uh, five total. <laughs> What's your alignment? <laughs> I bet you can't. It's lawful evil. No, it's <laughs> chaotic nature. Okay, cool. What's your emotional state? Pissed off. <laughs> no, that's what I'm He's brain just damage. come out of rage. Even if True. he wasn't angry before. <laughs> Stuff's happened. Um... <laughs> Can I try and harvest their horns? <laughs> um, you can certainly try. Uh, what yeah, are you going I'd to use to. to try and you have a saw. remove those thick metal horns of a yeah. metal? You want to keep stressing metal for me, real quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Brooks, you have um uh, a Smith's. Tools, do you not? Yeah. C could I borrow those? What are you planning to do? Oh, I want to take the horns. Do you need a hand with it? Uh, sure, I would love it. I will assist him or have him assist me, regardless. Whichever um, way is easier. I mean, try and make a fucking. Um, you're using your like smith tools for this? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like that's probably the best. Thing I have to proficiency use. with them. I assume Jax does as well. Yeah, um, I do. Just make a check, strength and proficiency. Oh fuck! Okay, please. Okay, are, are you assisting me or am I assisting you? Well, let's both roll. Fuck it. Okay. Make it fun. Okay, that's not great. Plus proficiency. Just two. Okay, I rolled a fourteen. Okay. Twenty-one. Damn. Um, I rolled a 19, baby. It was you, a 9 plus 10. Um, it takes you a while. Um, these creatures weigh about 4,000 pounds on average, <laughs> and the, a lot of money. The, the majority of that is just in sheer metal. Um, I, if you want to spend at least an hour trying to fucking get one of these horns off, I'll let you do it. But that's up to you. Would you guys sit there for an hour trying to fucking hack at it? And it's gonna no. take an hour. A short rest. It says something. Yeah, I would. Jax would. Is it? It. Is there anything I've got? Can the rest of us short rest while he does that? Unless you can pull together a fucking furnace real quick, I don't think you're gonna speed up the process. Yeah, if the rest, if they are going to spend that hour doing that, the rest of you can short rest if you want to. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. we could try something. Radical, I have a frag grenade. Like, <laughs> nope. you'll destroy well, um, the horn, you won't actually... I, I think that'll destroy it all or not do anything. I think that's well, I'm gonna short rest and I have to spend 30 minutes of that meditating to recover my key points, so I'm gonna do that. So okay. I just, like, mm -hmm. cross-legged, nice comfy squat, spear laid across my lap, eyes closed, just almost, meditate. Almost hour. other ways, sort of, like, <laughs> across the way from Daigon, I'm, like, praying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like, do, you, do you guys spend the hour to try and remove the horn? If everyone yes. else is resting, yes, fuck it. I can okay. rest in car. Uh, takes you an hour, but you manage to harvest one Gorgon horn worth dude i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's gonna be fun sure i'll give onu an apologetic if you cut. sell it i want half of it <laughs> that's fair if you do something weird with it then i don't know make it up to me some other way so with that uh, after a successful harvest of one horn uh and everyone else short resting uh do mm -hmm. you continue traveling oh yeah I'm going back to sleep in the car and taking a short rest. Sounds good. So we continue traveling. The people we saw uh, that were dead, rip them, I guess. Did we ever loot them? We just left no. them uh, lying there. You looted some tools from the car, right? It's Jackson, pretty sure. Yeah, I never looted the bodies, though. Rip. No, you didn't. Um, Bummer. Do you make your way further west down the road to head to street them? Um, you get them to the point of the night uh, after a few more hours of travel where um, Davy and you spots a place uh, where there's some some remains of a of, there have once has once been a campfire there uh, that you f see fits to be uh, a good place to put your heads down for the night if you want to uh should we uh take a rest of the night or sounds good to me you uh, feel like pressing on yeah. i think we should rest i'll uh, hop hop down off the cart and uh mm, I hope I think we should have some leftover feed for the horses in the cart and we I bought quite so. a lot, didn't we? We did, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I mean I've got I've got a tent with me. I'll just fucking hop down, start pulling together a tent and a fire. Okay. Um maybe look around for clean water or something or running water. All right. Um, I'll start setting up. Dagon and Kess's tent. Right. You build some yeah, tents. If, if there are okay. any trees, I'll just perch up in a tree and keep a lookout if there's anything. Okay. Yeah, sure. You can do that. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, uh, I'm going to put up my tin cans in a 30 foot radius around the camp. <laughs> doing my alarm spell for 20, 10 minutes. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, if I see Jax doing that, like, what are you uh, doing? Uh, I'm alarming the perimeter. Oh, are they are these magical in? Do are you like doing incantations as well, or are you just like putting these things out? Like to you, it just looks like I'm putting out cans. <laughs> these match like one your inventions are they magical in nature, or are you just They're hoping that some invention? Someone... <laughs> I mean, if you hit it, it's gonna make sound. Is that is that is that it? 
doesn't like. Well, uh, no, it'll also alert me, but. Or I can make it very loud for everybody. Oh. So it is a bit like an invention then. Uh, if you call tin cans in a string an invention, yes. Well, I mean, I don't think <laughs> tin cans in a string can alert just one person and not alert everyone. Okay. I say you can do specific. Enhanced tin cans on a string. <laughs> See, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> hey, look, it. Well, if they protect us and do whatever you want them to do, that's good. It's just, yes, I'm just so interested yeah. in your inventions, Jax. That's all you have. No, I know. I had to really think hard about this invention. <laughs> I have seen yes. that. I've seen that spider of yours, <clears throat> and that intrigues me. My favorites. Yes, that intrigues me. It does very similar things to what my powers are capable of. So, yes, well, I don't this could be need to rely on someone strength. else to do it. Oh. It's, it's a, a handy tool to better. have. <laughs> it's a handy thing to have. Because it can be relied upon, it doesn't break. If you, as long as you believe in these tin cans, that's fine by me. I don't need to believe in them, they just do their job. That's, I'll, like, not that's technically the believe. strings of tin cans, and they all, like... Uh, yeah, it makes tin can noises. <laughs> And then back of Jack's it head, works, just goes it? Actually, it doesn't, because I can make creatures that don't set off an alarm. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> be st... <laughs> God, fuck. <laughs> I go think it's just like the sub It took me a while to get to this conclusion yeah. of how I'd cast yeah. this spell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the fucking, like... It's the subtitle, it just says Tin Can Sounds. Just like... <laughs> hey, Elazarin. Hello. Can a matchbox? I don't know. No, but a Tin Can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. No. Right, should we think about watches for the evening? <clears throat> I'll take oh, one of the oh. later ones. Yes. I'll take watch with Kiss. I'll take a watch with uh, Ela well, Elazarin if you want to take a watch. What's that, please? Uh, so, you, do you want to take a watch or are you very mm. much? Are you going to camp out for the evening up there? I can take a watch, no problem. Oh, we'll take the first watch, Davian, and then I'll uh, we'll work up Psy. Alright, sounds good. I'm going to say I'll happily take first watch because I've just had a nap. But... No, I could do the rest. My, well, I could. Do with not being able to wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Same here, to be honest. I I hate sleeping for a bit, waking up and then sleeping yeah. again. I I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather I'll take a last watch later. then, and then I'll just fucking sleep again in the car. Sounds good. Cool. All right, so first watch is... Yeah, me and... Uh... And Ashlyn and Gavian. Okay. Me and... Anything you guys want to do during your watch? Uh, in particular. Nah, me neither. I don't think. Okay. In that case, uh, send Ono around because he has dark vision and perception checks, please. Should I make one for uh, Ono as well? Eighteen. Sure. Eighteen. My team. Three hundred feet. Uh, ba -ba -ba, eleven. Eleven. Me and natural one for Ono. Mm. <laughs> uh, dark. The Lazarin. Mm -hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, for Onu and uh, Davian, I mean, seems quiet. <clears throat> I will go to wake up um, Sai, and, mm. and I'll say, um, how was your dark vision? Mm. Not great. <laughs> That's just fine. And I'll kind of like, hot, you kind of, if you kind of see that reflected in the fire, like a very shiny coin, and you now have 300 foot dark vision for an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, it starts looking everywhere. This this is how I see the night normally. This is amazing. All the time. Yeah, all right. I'm more bright, why don't you? It's, it's, fun. it's fun to show off a little party trick. It's new people. All right. Sai, with the, your... Uh, I see this way all the time. With your 300 feet dark vision, making a perception check. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Would you give him one of the doesn't? It's just long. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you can you can see a very far distance, and that helps you 
Yeah, I'm uh, just giggling because this is I've never been able to do this before. <laughs> uh, you overhear some some like wildlife in the nearby woods. Um, you see not much. Uh, it seems like a very quiet night. Okay. Uh, and with that, it's about time for you to watch the end. Who do you wake up? Yeah, I wake up. Uh, I think it was uh, Kes and. Else was it? Maybe I'll wake up. Go. I'll wake up. Guess because that's who I rem- who, <laughs> who Sai remembers wanted to. <laughs> also, there is oh, up to Kess if she wakes up. That, I guess that dark vision, by the way, only lasts an hour. So halfway through, you just suddenly. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like ah, fuck. <laughs> like, halfway through your watch, you just become blind. That's yeah, like, literally. Yeah, because because you go from three hundred dark vision to if he has none, just fire. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like uh, walking around the campsite trying to find Kes, but I can't see, can't fucking see oh, her God. now. <laughs> Probably Kes, a couple uh, people. But eventually, you do, and uh, Kes, you get like a like a little mm-hmm. knock on the tent, I guess, to try and wake you up. Just a quiet hello. <laughs> I'm up. Hello. Like from outside. It's like creepy having a Frenchman do that outside of town. Bonjour. Hello, mademoiselle, it is your wicked. Why, why is the first thing that comes to mind the fucking skunk from... from <laughs> is it Looney Tunes? Right. Uh, I'm just imagining, like, in the window, just as you're asleep, just... Hello. Hello. After waking up, Kess, the side is go to sleep? Um... Yes. Okay. Uh, Kess, yes. are you taking watch alone, or are you waking up Daigon? Uh, I will just stay up alone. Okay. You're supposed to wake was, me up. You're supposed, oh, supposed to wake up Jax. Jax. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. But are you just gonna oh, stay? Oh wait, okay, then I'll I'll wake up Jax. Oh, okay, okay. okay. The big Kess blue doing blue. something she's supposed to. <laughs> I know, surprise. Mm-hmm. Kess wakes up, I uh, uh, Jax. in a ball holding my plushie. Nah. Anything I was nice to think I let you sleep take just so alone. I could she steal things. Kind of start snooping, yeah. Mm. Anything you want to do or discuss on your watch? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to kind of pull Kess away from the group so we don't wake them up. You know. Okay. This is when we get attacked and die because you were slacking. <laughs> it's watch. time for Grandpa yeah, to give you a life lesson. <laughs> okay. Um. Guess. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk to you like you're a child. Makes a change. But you act like a child. I understand you're probably, I don't know, in your 20s, maybe. <laughs> Let me show you, uh, it all looks the same to me. It's been mm-hmm. 300 years. Um, mm-hmm. But normally, when you make friends with people, you don't snoop in their things. Because especially when people have lived longer than you, or even the same amount of time, you don't know what kind of baggage they carry. And I'm not going to assume anything because I haven't read his journal or letters or anything else, but what you did seemed to really hurt Brooks. A lot. And I think he saw you as a friend. And something like this could, you know, jeopardize that. And if it is a crush, I mean, you know, it's probably gone downhill from there. So. Nothing. That is. Well, that's. I wanted to give you a chance to speak. I'm not a child, but I'm not particularly well versed in how things are supposed to operate here. I grew up in a very close community. Things like this was just. How it was. 
privacy wasn't really a thing. That's fair. But in, I guess, the world, you know, because your community is one of the enigmas that exist. I'm gathering. <laughs> you don't normally go through people's belongings. Apparently so. And it, it, it does hurt. A lot. Because sometimes it brings up things that they don't want to forget, but they keep close so that they also don't forget. Hmm. I just... I don't want to see you alienate yourself with Brooks and others that we may come across. Well, I appreciate that. And I'm sure if you want to know something, someone will tell you when you ask. And if they don't, they just aren't ready to share that yet. Mm. And if you want, I can share a secret of mine as well, I guess. Really? Really. Go ahead. Well, I used to crew for one of the most fearsome pirates the continents have ever seen. Why would you keep that a secret? That sounds Well, no one really asked. And... You know, when we're around cities, I have to be a little more careful. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I wasn't like the most recognizable, but you know, if a doll can do not really blend in. Well, I know something of that. Yes, being blue is hard. <laughs> 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 We're blue buddies for life. Blue buddies for life. Oh, let's get t-shirts. Um, this is where the disembodied voice of Sides goes. Blue buddies for life. <laughs> 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 and somewhere from across, he's the like perched on a rock right next to us. This blue dragonborn in its sleep also goes. Blue buddies for life. <laughs> and, and, and a water ganassi. Just too. <laughs> yeah, true. Fuck. And then the gnome wakes up. <laughs> My nightmare. <laughs> the petition, is, the petition, if the right characters die, we all have to make blue characters so our party name can become Blue Man Group. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, we'll be a group of bards. Um, Wearing a blue suit. That's close enough, right? I'm also wearing blue, to be fair. There you go. Yeah, no one cares about you. That's rude. <laughs> Apologize right now. No. Okay. Um, Respect it. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Leave? True. We have his backup right here. <laughs> um, right. Uh, so. Um, before we got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, if you want to share it with the others, feel free, but if you don't, it's fine with me. I don't think I'll be sharing other people's secrets. I might want to know them, but I'm not one to share other people's information just because I want to. So you just want to know the secrets? Mm. Yeah. That way I have the advantage. Yeah, but isn't there an excitement learning something new, but not having to take it, being given it? I Sign wouldn't know. Trust. And I'm sure Daigon has trusted you with many of her secrets. Daigon doesn't really have any secrets. 
<laughs> well, she doesn't now because she's told you. You just have to give it time. Well, she kind of told me everything the day we met. Well, Daigon is very trusting. Which isn't a good or a bad thing. It's just something people take advantage of on occasion. But just be careful. All right. Fuck. <laughs> just knocked something over as I moved my hand no. onto my keyboard. Um, <clears throat> quick math. With that, um, Jax does kind of have to... Wait, how, how much sleep does Jax require? Sleep? Yeah. Uh, eight hours, I think. Just like yeah, normal. so you're going to have to go back to get some more rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's another watch. Uh, I mean, Kes can stay... Uh, Kes, it, technically, it, te Kes could stay awake. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Jax doesn't know that. Yeah, I'm sure. going to go I mean, wake up. Brooks. Yeah, say so we got Brooks. Probably. You're going to come yep. wake me up. Specifically, Kes. <laughs> Okay. Right. I'll let her. Okay. I'll let her. Okay. All right. I'll just go back to bed then. <clears throat> yeah. out without saying anything, if that's you know as much as I get, it's fucking early. <laughs> <laughs> Retreat to her tent? No, she kind of like sits up. Okay. Um. Go and sit on the other side of camp. <laughs> <laughs> Literal children. Oh boy. Yep. Um. After a minute, she'll go over. I'm sorry for snooping through your journal. Hmm? Sure. <laughs> okay, look. It's been pointed out to me that privacy is something of an important deal over here. I didn't really grow up somewhere that it was important. So, I'm sorry that I breached your privacy. And I won't do it again. Drawings. Don't particularly care. It was a fun bit of a, a mini trick when you showed interest to be like, ah, get fucked. But surely a sentence or two in you realize that those letters were fairly personal. I didn't really pay much attention to what was in them. I mostly just skimmed for my name. I'm gonna be honest. <coughs> Very self-interested. Mm-hmm. Do I believe that she skimmed for her name? Make an inside check. And cast roll deception mm. or persuasion. It's a 11. You believe that. <laughs> I've... We, we, we've all got things in our past that we don't talk about. I mean, we've been traveling together for just over two weeks. We, Everyone has shit that they haven't told everyone. That's just the way that these things are. But I've held on to those letters for a while and can never really seem to find the right words to put in them. 
You don't have to tell me anything. Was this before or after the other night? Before. But why didn't you just tell me? When we were drunk and being a bit more open. I suppose to me it didn't seem particularly important. And then everyone else kind of reacted like it should be. So. Someone that says she doesn't necessarily understand privacy. There are a lot of your cards that you seem to hold very close to your chest. That's true enough. Secrecy is an intrinsic value to my people. Something we treasure a great deal. It's not so much because of privacy, because there is an inherent power in knowledge, especially those that not a lot of people know. So then with the understanding that this is something that nobody other than me really, really knew. Do you not see how there's a, a weight to that knowledge? It's not about the fact that you did it so much. It's that you didn't see after reading those letters why I would care that much. I don't understand enough of what's in those letters to assign any significance to them. That's not my business. But... I understand enough to know that... I shouldn't have read them because there is emotional significance, perhaps not intellectual. A lot of people came to this new place looking for something. And then a few people came because they were looking for the absence or something. Or they were moving away from something else. I'm moving away from something else, and as much as I don't know if I'll ever be able to write those letters, as much as I want to let go of them, they're a reminder every now and again.
so far. Every group that I've stuck out with long term, every every place where I've tried to set down roots has not been Judas. Can make it difficult to to trust. I'm not angry at you anymore. I'm just questioning my judgment a little. That's fair enough. I... I'm not... Hmm... Trust. I... I'm not... Familiar with that. So, I suppose it's hard for me to understand something I've never experienced. Or given. You trust, you trust Dagon though, right? Not entirely. There's not anyone I have ever trusted entirely. Always conditional. Everything is conditional. I guess we've got ourselves a right fucking pity club going here. <laughs> we? Well, if it helps, I have my own letters I should write, but even if I could get them to where they needed to go, I don't think I would ever be able to write it down, let alone send it. So you're already multiple steps ahead of me. Is it too early to start drinking? I still have cider. <clears throat> I will go through my bag and I will pull out. Uh, what do I have? I <laughs> have uh, some mm -hmm. uh, blue blood liquor. I have some pear okay. cider. I have some rock guy. Okay. Pull. Fuck it, I'll get the rock girl out. Why not? Okay. It's like a fucking dwarven root vegetable fucking vodka. <laughs> All right. It's like oh, moonshine yeah. made out of like fucking potatoes and radishes and shit. Like, how <laughs> bad can it be? Okay. Um, with that, uh, everyone slowly starts to wake up and you all uh, get ready for the next day of travel. Um, you have your breakfast, pack up your things, get back on the cart, continue traveling. And uh, we'll pick this up next week. Hey. Hey. Yeah. First of oh, all, yeah. Soko, it was good to have you back, buddy. Are you going to be here next week? Like, what's Woo. the schedule looking like? I am. Nice. I'm going to be here for the next oh, four. Yeah. Oh, wow. Five, five. Hell yeah. Four or five. Something like that. And we get to oh, keep awesome. Anton. 
It's gonna be great because we'll have a winter oh, break for three weeks. Vincent. That's <laughs> true. On. That's fucked up, dude. I, I knew. Yeah. I knew what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, look. Yeah, I'm on a lot Vincent of cold medication. Vincent is gonna be here right for now. the foreseeable future. He's gonna ride this one out with you guys since his character got a uh, kind of oh. drafted into the same investigation. Until, until, man, Yay! until we kill him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or that, I guess. Come at uh, me. Don't tell him. Maybe your character is a secret chocolatier. Uh, obviously, you know we've known each other for a little while, and I've always wanted to have you on. Dungeon Select, but last campaign didn't happen, so I'm glad to, to have you be the first guest. Does that mean I have to leave for three quarters of the uh, of the campaign? For yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, it's cool to see like a you know like a, a take on a ranger that you know does melee fighting. You don't see that very often because typically people mm -hmm. go yeah. with like you know shoot bow. Range is in Range. the word. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, <laughs> but like rangers are very viable up close as well if you if you build them that way. So it's cool to mm -hmm. have that type of ranger. Rangers are only very this viable. one was viable. In melee. I know, I know, right? No, but they're you know what I mean. You know what I mean. As far as yeah, rangers if only, go, if only this one <laughs> hit is hit is. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we'll be here. Um, we, we, won't, we won't be here tomorrow because I, I'll, I'll be gone. Um, we'll be here on Wednesday okay. for the uh, one of the charity one shots that we're doing. Uh, we'll be here on Thursday for Dungeon Discourse. Mm, I can't. We make had Bell and Duke last. Yeah. Get the fucking new boy on. And I want trivia. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit, Vincent. Can you make Thursday evening for this course? Or are you working? You're probably working. Uh, <laughs> this this Thursday? Yeah. It's a bank holiday, so I'm not it's working. Frail oh, bones. Ooh, nice. Uh, you want to yeah. talk nerdy on Dungeon Discourse? This week? <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? Oh yeah. Do it. You know, we can talk about talk about your character creation a little bit and uh, yeah. The, the that like How are we gonna have? Stuff? Hold on though. Hmm? Trivia. So we're gonna have to. Well, you're gonna have to have three people on at some point. So the trivia. Or one person. Because mm. uh, no, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll see that. We'll tackle that when we get to it. Uh, who wants to accompany Vincent? Let's see. Who have we Let not? Me... Uh, you can't do it right, Soko, because you're working. I, I cannot. I work. Go, go, go. Um, I'm. I'm not available this Thursday either because I have a thing with my grandparents. Okay. Uh, let, let, me double check. let me double check my work of Rota. I mean, Talk about I... your paralysis. Yeah, yeah my... your paralysis. Yeah, uh, it would have to maybe start a bit later because I, I finish like, work late. Like, like what? what how is uh, what? How late is late? Well, I finish work at half six my time, yeah. and it can take me up to. And but I could finish later than that if banking gets fucked. Like, and is I can't it like, like I'm down to say we'll start up an, hour, an, hour. an hour later. It's up to it's up like to it. Be like you know what I mean? Like I don't want to fucking like I will put I'll be there by half like seven my time, so okay. half hour later. Okay, yeah. Then I for for now we'll say we'll have uh, Vincent and Koiba Hell on yeah. uh, this course. Sounds good. Hell yeah. Um, and then mm. next Sunday we'll be here again for session thirteen, baby. Hey. Uh, yeah, we'll run through these episodes. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. Thanks so much for Shadow being Demon. here. Um, uh. Yeah, I it's, dude. I have ideas, man. It's fucking scary. Um, you guys new around here? <laughs> Hit the follow button. We are officially three followers away from 200. We're so close, dude. Also okay. subscribe. Also yeah. subscribe. Use your primes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are also obviously raising money for charity. Exclamation mark charity. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff. True. Um, thanks so much for being here. We'll, uh, we'll catch you next week. Uh, Sage just went live, so I'm just going to throw her the host, I think. Sounds yeah. good. Hell good. yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be out of here. Peace out, gamers. See you guys Bye, guys. Have a Bye -bye. great Bye -bye. next week. Bye. Peace out. Bye.